Welcome back to the Landlord Cast, the first podcast for landlords by landlords. Now, people like to talk about marginalized communities, yep. but don't like to acknowledge that landlords are the most discriminated against people on earth. Well said. Landlords can be openly hated, stereotyped, slandered to no end. To be honest, the anti landlord rhetoric you see right now makes me worry for my kids who will one day inherit the property. You know, when I was coming up, I had respect for my landlord. Yes. I remember one day a pipe burst. The landlord wanted to inspect the house, just make sure it wasn't my fault. I said, you know what? No need. I called the plumber, paid for it on my own dime, reached back out to the landlord and said, sir, I know you have a stressful job. This one's on me. Class act. You don't see that anymore. These new tenants are all me, me, me. Uh -huh. Fix this. Fix that. Don't raise my rent, please. There's no hot water. Yes, master. I'll be right over to fix your flooded basement at 3 a.m. Last week, I get a call from a particularly needy tenant. The house is infested with rodents and it's gotten unlivable. Did you tell him about rat traps? Yeah, but your majesty, the snowflake, wanted an exterminator. Why wouldn't he? So I paid for several rat traps out of pocket, installed them myself, so naturally, when the first of the month comes around, I'm expecting at minimum 10, 15% gratuity on top of that check. Let me guess. He tipped you less than 5%. They asked for a reduction in rent. It really is a thankless job. Probably slandered you online for your troubles. And man to man, I'd be embarrassed to tip my landlord less than 5%. And by the way, there's an extra day in February this year, and I've chosen not to charge more that month. Very kind of you. And that's why BlackRock is such an inspiration to me. They don't put up with that kind of thing. They would have reduced that rent to zero in the form of an eviction. Send them packing. And once again, we do always like to pay homage to the best in the business, BlackRock. And you know, I always respect when fellow travelers in the game are on that sea house diet. They, they see houses, houses they, they buy them. Shout out to Fink Army. Legend. The boys. It's the boys cast. The lads. It's the boys cast. The dudes. Prepare yourself for boys cast. The pros. It's the boys cast. The homies. It's the boys cast. The dudes. It's the We are here at the boys cast with the official boys panel, the original fellas. Also, me and Danny are in Europe right now. We'll talk about that more Europe. on the patreon.com slash the boys cast. And there's a lot of things going on with the official boys panel, which is JJ Lieberman. How are we doing here? Well, uh, it's been a few months after our uh, last viral. People were happy with the Douglas Murray episode. Cast. <laughs> yeah. JJ wow. won hearts and minds. Big <laughs> argument. Hearts and the minds. Big argument between me and Danny. He says that Douglas Murray pumped the numbers. I say it was the co-host. Yeah, it was definitely JJ. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, I rescind that. 50-50 split. <laughs> there was an argument at a bar, but yes, uh, it's good to be back. Jay Dorena in the building. How are we doing, guys? Are we good? We're fucking good. It's going to be all fucking boy shit all oh, day. No. The tea is, just, the tea is <laughs> coursing through my face. Dude. <laughs> Locker room talk, baby. Is it, it loves to go. Hey, grab her by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is the episode where you turn it on, your girlfriend's there, and she's like, turn this the fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Locker room talk's a good title. <laughs> Also, we talked about this last week, obviously, but the the Jew tunnels are going hard right oh, now. Oh, the Jew tunnels. Oh, oh. my God, dude. dude them like the popping thing out of the sewers. One of the top 10 things I've ever seen in my life. Dude, I'd say there's some sort of Ninja Turtles crossover that needs to happen. There's <laughs> something there of them like putting nunchucks on them. I don't know. Well, yeah. we know Splinter's religion officially. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the look. He almost had the fucking side things going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah he kind of did. Yeah. I was loving the idea that yeah just having a video with Danny just in the toilet being like we found another one he was living in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of gold bars kicking around the toilet I mean the one you see like obviously I'm sure everybody but did you see the one with the guy coming through the grate yeah, yeah that, was, that was the one he sent yeah. it's the main yeah. thing yeah dude that'd be su like the whole thing with like oh we think well, we think you got a Jew in here and there's like yeah like gold bar like traces it's like oh here's a dreidel yeah there's definitely some of them in here <laughs> Yeah, just going into your bathroom and seeing traces of stuff they left. <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you hear that? He puts his ear up against the walls. Like, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> just one lone tassel sitting beside your empty change jar. Yeah, <laughs> my N word jar is completely empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I love how those yeah. guys too when they were trying to talk to them and they had like no idea what the issue was. They go, like, "What? What's yeah, the problem?" 
What but, is the secret tunnel? What? Well, I don't what? see the cops are like like we don't do that in America. Like the guy's like, "Where are you from?" He's like, "Israel." He's like, "Yeah." He goes, "We don't do this in America." And they're like, "What?" And you're like, "The whole fucking street is gonna collapse. Like yeah. the whole building is." Where is it in Brooklyn? Yeah, in Crown Heights. Do you think there's yeah. anyone in Hamas? It's like y'all do it too. <laughs> y'all do it too. <laughs> oh yeah. Pro Palestinian. JJ has been trolling people on the Palestine. I think it's pretty funny because JJ yeah. will message me. He'll be like, "I've been trolling these people, like receding into these people that are like really into Palestine." And he'll be like, "This many dead," and he'll just write back like, "Not nearly enough." Oh, and shit like Jesus that. And he'll be like, Christ. "He'll be like, yeah." He'll be like, "I'm just messing with them." And it's like, "What did he say?" And it's like, no response back. It's like, <laughs> just scenes, a bunch of scenes. Yeah, yeah. What a he troll! Blocked, yeah, he blocked me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I send, I send the Block, videos. I blocked. The Ben Bankus, uh, it's a it's an, uh, wonderful day for jihad. Yeah. He made this video, and I send it to everyone who's pro Palestine in their story. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I'm like, can you believe this? And there's a video of the IDF dancing around, like they're like yada yada yada, and they're dancing with the Israeli flag. And I just send it to people who are. There's a female comedian who I won't say her name, but she cried on stage about Palestine. And so I sent her the video. And I'm like, can you believe this? And you're just trying to rile people. rile her up. Oh, yeah. I love you have no political stance, no political standing. You just want to see the world burn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just likes pushing buttons. Yeah. But it's yeah. funny because they don't, they, yeah, this one they don't know. It's kind of like someone's dad died yeah. and you message them like, what a piece of shit. And then they're mm. like, what the fuck? And you're like, got him. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't really know they're being drilled. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, wow, this is wildly offensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the one I posted, there was a picture of a guy with his uh, baby carriage going up steps. And I'm like, and he's like, oh, it's a tough because it's very pro Palestine. He's like, this is a tough one to conquer today. I'm like, yeah, it seems like the uh, Israelis occupied those steps, huh? Jesus. And then he, he's like, what does that mean? I'm like, okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> J- JJ gets a lot of, what does that mean? What does that mean? He's, he like, takes oh. one shot at trolling, and they're like, what? And he's like, okay, too much work. I'm over this. <laughs> you know what JJ is for trolling? You know the, the like, you know how uh, it's the body that was like, dude, I. I'm like I wingman that girl so you can fuck the other one and yeah. you're like what I wasn't even looking at that girl you're like yeah I'm go- okay. I've been going out with her all week we're actually I'm meeting her parents next week and we're actually engaged to be married she's moving in with me you're welcome yeah, like, <laughs> I have no idea which girl are you talking about again yeah yeah he's like no I did this to, for the for the so you could get laid that's him with like for the joke yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. you he's know like that the- soft seven we saw eight weeks ago <laughs> like, wait, what well anyways her friend who's a two I'm, I'm now living with <laughs> Bad, bad prankster. It is funny though. The, the, those same people they'll post like, "Oh my god, the atrocities!" And then the next picture, it's like a selfie of them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah, <you're great>. yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, we forgot about it. Like, there's atrocities going on, but I'm still hot. And people need to know. Yeah, they gotta, need to know how gotta, hot I am. Got to post those thirst traps. Um, yeah. I don't know if you saw in Canada because uh, it's a Canadian boys panel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Canadian excellence. <laughs> like a couple. I think this was a bit ago too, but. Uh, I was like, it's the most Canadian thing ever because it was on the hockey rink. Oh. So basically, there's on a hockey rink, and there was these old Jews that are skating. Oh, this was great. Right? And then, so the old Jews are like skating, and then there's like five like Muslim dudes that are also skating, and they're yeah. calling the Jews terrorists. Oh, yeah. That was at, it was at Nathan Phillips Square <laughs> like yesterday. No way. Yeah, in Toronto. Really? Or, yeah. Well, whatever, but whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, no, it was just like this old, I don't even know if they were Jews. It I was think, Larry I think David and his wife. It was just like, <laughs> like two white the guy people. Yeah. I don't know if they were necessarily Jews, and they were just like get. It. We're like we're just trying to have a skate. Yeah, at, yeah. And like the city, <laughs> we're just like it's middle of winter. Like we're just trying to do a skate, and then these like pro Palestine people are like standing, swarming. They're not them. even on skates. They're, they're just, just standing on the ice, trying to ruin everybody's yeah. fun. Like they were doing at like the bridge over here yesterday. Jeez, they were man. swarming them like Dude, the they Jews blocked- in the cellars. <laughs> 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 they blocked off every bridge here yesterday for like four hours. Well, I saw people were uh, people were not happy. Dude, every that. bridge in New York City. The pro Palestine, they just go to the base of them and then they just like lay down. And Dude, like, that's I, that's a bad way to get people on your side. Like I remember one time I was going to a haircut and there was a anti like climate change whatever fucking protest. Yeah, and I was like, I hope the world lights on fire. I <laughs> yeah. need to get to this fucking haircut. Yeah, I just right want to do the opposite of whatever you do. And they go, Well, you wouldn't take us seriously if we didn't do this. Well, right that, that's funny because Danny was telling me yesterday after the protest on the bridge, he's like, I hope Gaza lights on fire. And uh, I think his wish is coming to fruition. <laughs> you know what's <laughs> honestly really really weird about the i don't know if you, my algorithm or what but like i barely see anything about the war anymore oh no no, no. i my algorithm is all people falling off skateboards and yeah, always has been but yeah. it was like 
<laughs> but like at the start of the war, like everything was you know CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all they did was cover. Now you go on there, they're like talking about whatever. Ah, people are tired. Like, it's like people are like over it. Like yeah, the war's yeah. like over. over, dude. Yeah, you, I mean, you, it's not right? over. It's very much not over. But uh, like for the people living there, but like, dude, until we start getting tuckered sent themselves over, out. Yeah, no, no, no. People, the attention span is always so short. It's what's the new hot thing? People are talking about Cat Williams. People are talking about Cat Williams the, the, the Epstein the war. logs. Yeah, <laughs> Cat Williams is the new hot story right Cat, now. Cat Big Williams. Time. To uh, Israel Palestine was Will Smith to Ukraine and Russia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two year anniversary of Will Smith. Yeah. Dude. Oh my God. What a slap. That no. most. The most. No, no, what else is funny though is uh, so Michael Rappaport. Obviously, everyone's seen how wild he is, yeah, yeah. but he basically he's getting boycotted. I actually took the photo, so he, he's he's doing helium, and then there's like huge boycotts of his show, and it's, he's like the bad boy comic right now, no. right? Yeah. He, really? Yes, he's back to being the bad boy. <laughs> when oh. was he the bad boy? He well, in the, when he was like in the eighties and nineties, or whenever he was an actor, was wasn't it, wasn't he, he was a bad, bad boy? He was on Friends. Oh. <laughs> 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 I mean, there's that one college uh, movie he yeah. did where yeah, he's yeah. the Nazi, the bad skinhead. boy. There you but go. But he's just an actor. Okay. No, he wasn't the bad boy. He's, well, uh, he's I, a wigger. Oh, that bad boy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like JJ has one Helium face. Comedy Club is a non Portland based chain that has been platforming racist, misogynist, and violent comedians. Uh, he posted this, by the way. And they've been known to suppress local comedians, su- specifically black and brown comedians. They continue to support problematic comedians. In interest of our local comedian, let's choose to support local comedy producers, brackets, especially black comedy producers, which I think Michael Rapport does count. Yeah. <laughs> in- <laughs> instead of attempting shows at Helium. So, and he's been posting. Posting all these, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's getting he's getting protested like he's Milo Yiannopoulos <laughs> doing a campus speech right That's now. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. And he's also watch. He's going to open his own comedy club. That's going to be like. And guess where you can perform at my <laughs> club? Where we're very inclusive. <laughs> Yeah, that's. Uh, Did you ever see uh, Mayor Adams' video that went viral? Like every like two years, it goes viral again. Yeah, oh, I know but exactly. Him, <laughs> you yes, know, right? Dude, when he's like, he, he's going through a house, and he's like, you never know where your kids that, could be hiding I, something. Dude, that's crazy. I, I, never, saw I never saw that. that. Let me play a bit of it. Oh Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a bit it, of it for it, you guys. It, it like plays like a sketch. It does because it looks like he's it. on a set, kind of. Like it's the, the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. You can start out. I always recommend to start out in a periodic fashion, so you'll be used to going through the room to look at um, the various items in the room. You can look at the jewelry box. A jewelry box of this nature, maybe a simple jewelry box. But if you look through it closely, you don't know what your child may be hiding. For instance, a gun could be hidden. A small caliber <laughs> weapon could be hidden inside a jewelry box. Look at the various colognes and perfumes and photos and pictures. Look through the colognes. You should always, when your child bring in his popular knapsack with many different locations, look through it to see what exactly is your child carrying in addition to a book. Something simple as a crack pipe. (laughs) (laughs) What is the music? I also like something as simple as a crack crack pipe. You know, then he's like, at one point, he like reaches into a pillow and just pulls out a huge (laughs) bag of coke. Yeah, (laughs) so he pulls the gun out of the pillow. Another gun. He (laughs) says, "Just guns everywhere." And it's like a huge gun, dude. It's like a magnum. (laughs) Like, yeah, dude, I got a fucking fifty cal magnum hidden in this pillow, just in case I'm going to shoot down an elephant real quick that storms into my place. Oh. When you find the crack pipe, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're smoking crack, but that might be a conversation that you might want to have. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It might mean they're smoking crack and they're fucking crack pipes yeah, yeah, everywhere. Dude. I just sell the pipes. I don't do the crack, mom and dad. Oh, my God. He wasn't the mayor when he made that, though. No, no. no. This is like eight years ago. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like he's, oh, when it's, he it's was a fucking, police guy. Yeah, it looks like yeah. a sketch. Yeah. yeah. It's so insane. And no, the... Yes, sir. His stuff is wild. Like when he was talking about New York City, he's like, New York City is a crazy city. Someone could be celebrating a birthday and the next day a plane crashes into the Twin Towers. Yeah! <laughs> Like one time. It's like, what the fuck? He's like, any day, any day, it could happen. World of opportunity in New York City. Oh, boy. 
No, no. The, the one he goes, you know, and obviously you want to look at the picture frames, and he starts, he jiggles the picture frames. He's like, look behind that, bullets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like a handful of bullets. And he goes, just because they have bullets, that doesn't mean they have a gun, but it is an indication that there may be a gun. They have a bunch of bullets. Yeah, what, I just what? keep my loose bullets <laughs> next to my mom and dad picture. <laughs> what was the solution if you got a fucking uh, kid with a gun and crack pipes? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You just you want to sit him down and turn your chair around and level with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, son. The uh, uh, Dr. Huxtable speech yeah. with yeah. Theo. Yeah. We don't, <laughs> we don't talk about Dr. Huxtable on this podcast anymore. Right, Who's uh, Dr. Huxtable? Cosby. Cosby. Oh, Cosby. Innocent oh. man. Oh. And you erased him from your memory. <laughs> yeah, I did. I forgot. Just him. Like solidarity. Dude, that woke mind virus got me. <laughs> it got me, man. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen that fucking Eric Andre prank where he dresses in an octopus suit and then he has four midgets on the tentacles and he goes into restaurants and just yells crazy shit and he goes this one place and he goes Bill Cosby is innocent <laughs> and the servers are just like covering their heads like they're like what do we like I don't know what to do what do I do in yeah, this situation I don't train you for that yeah instance. no no not not that you know what oh. you had recently, Jay, that I was like very much in agreement with? But there was a video where basically a girl was saying, you know, instead of ghosting someone or, you know, uh, drifting away, what you should be doing is sending them a message being like, we had a great time, but honestly, I just don't think we're compatible. And you're just like, fat fucking <laughs> chance. I was like, no way. <laughs> Never, dude. You always do like the slow fade. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I said I call it a haunting where you just kind of like, you, you respond to like every fourth message. You stop texting them but you maybe respond on instagram yeah and you just like slowly disappear yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's your answer you like it feels kind of like bill cosby yeah. and ghost dad yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just you just walk into the cornfield yeah, 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 yeah. and all of a sudden you're gone just disappear <laughs> that is the proper move though. that's the it's, move it's like and you literally time it you go like what what was the last like time i responded to a text how much like duration in between yes. you expand, and you expand it? It. Yeah. Yeah. okay so like i have to wait longer so that you actually like Consciously, you're like, okay, so that was two days. Now this is three days. Oh, that's a good. Like, well, you just have board. to bring her to watch your act. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or just talk with me for ten minutes. Because <laughs> have you have you actually? Yeah, you'd be like, just ask JJ to just get JJ to take you to his favorite restaurant, and it's just like a fucking bodega <laughs> hole in the wall. You know, <laughs> your favorite restaurant, I, best food in New York City. <laughs> then I say, can I please speak to the chef? <laughs> Some fucking Ecuadorian who's four Man, foot five. <laughs> hey. Amazing, amazing. You're incredible. Hey, Mister, huh? Look at that. Look at those knife skills. <laughs> yeah, dude. some of them do have good knife skills. Dude, they use like fucking <laughs> painter spackles when they like cook. <laughs> they don't even have a knife. They just use one of those putty knives. <laughs> Dude, chopping I, shit up. <laughs> they do. I yeah, they use like it, actual man. like from a hardware, from yeah. like a hardware yeah. store. Yeah. It's yeah. not even for, for <laughs> culinary places. That's what they do at uh, shawarma places too. Yeah, yeah like just it. chop it up. When they have that old meat, they pull out of a bucket and just throw oh, it on the grill. Gosh. And I'm like, oh, gosh, give me that diarrhea, baby. I'm ready for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's your technique. <laughs> no, I'm pretty good on the no uh, where I where I choose. You're going to get rid of them? Where well, I choose dude, my street the meat. Idea of sending, the idea of sending like an actual, like you've dated, you've hung out with someone two times and you're sending this and this and this. You go, not, you, oh, like, no. it makes my body feel ill thinking about oh, doing yeah, that. I'll, I'll marry her and stay with her for the rest of my life before I do that. Yeah. Oh, it was the blonde podcaster. Is that the No, 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 not that one. Not that oh, one. Okay. Um, no, but it was it's just like, yeah, you like if you're not really in a relationship with someone, you're not dating seriously, it's like, yeah, you just fade out. That's how you do it every yes. single time. I one time Even I if did, you're married. I <laughs> <laughs> move to a different country. Dude, I love those old like con man stories where it's like a guy just like got it's like ni nineteen fifteen and he just gets on a horse and goes to a new town oh, and he's best. just like, I'm done. Yeah, there's no I'm records, done. nothing. Dude, yeah. I watch F Ferrari uh the, you the, know that, and it's with uh, what's his name, Adam Driver. Oh, right? the movie. Adam yeah. Driver plays he pl play the same role as he did in Gucci. He's just like another. He only plays old Italian guys yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, he's pretty good. But basically, he has like a whole another family been, he's had for like eleven years. And the wife finds out, and he comes back, and he's very like. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes, you have another wife and son. He goes, 
I do not have another wife. I do have another son. <laughs> he's like, he goes, he's just really chill about it. You ever hear that Pablo Picasso story where apparently he got confronted by these two like young hot models that he was banging at the time? They come into like his studio. He's sitting there and they go like, you're dating both of us. And he goes, fight. Fight for my <laughs> he, makes, like, yeah. he makes them fight. Picasso? Picasso, dude. He had the dog in him, man. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of those old guys, especially the French guys, they are very, like, you oh, know, oh, yeah, misogynist. Yeah. The penis ones? Yeah. What's the penis one? <laughs> but also, he wasn't, is, is, is. he wasn't, like, famous later in life. He was, like, the most famous artist in the world, probably. At the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's like, like he, it's like Mick Jagger. You'd be like, yeah, go fight. <laughs> I could fight. duke it out, dude. Did they yeah. duke it out? I think they did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who won. And you think he was like cat fights? <laughs> yeah, he just started throwing paint at them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it going. <laughs> get it going. <laughs> oh, only shit. one can be Picasso Muse. <laughs> <laughs> I lived with a guy once who was dating. This is in college uh, on my baseball team. There was he was dating four different chicks. One day they all showed up to the dorm. All of them. I don't know how they put it together. I guess they all went to pre social the, media for them to put it together. That's they, like they dude, had to hire a private investigator. They, it was amazing. They all showed up, and I, it was me, another Dominican, and this guy Mike. And Mike was the white guy from Georgia. Can JJ get a slice? <laughs> oh, I was watching this. Dying laughing. That's honestly though for him. That, that's that's like, actually best case scenario. You look amazing. Because you well, but he probably is like, well, obviously I'm not just gonna be banging. He, he probably that's like a hard reset for him. He gets rid of all four at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus oh, having to right. break up with four of them individually. Yeah, yeah. they he's think probably like, this is gonna suck for the next hour. And then I'm like, I'm free. Yeah, I'm free start times the new four. franchise. That yeah. dude. There was a <laughs> exactly. 100%. Dude, I remember one time a girl. That's a great thing. Dude. You start a group chat on Instagram and accidentally add two chicks you don't want to fuck anymore in the same group <laughs> yeah, chat. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Whoops. That's, that's smart. Clear them out right away. Oh, yeah, you go, whoa, mistake. what happened? You just kind of be like, oh, boomery. I don't know how this app works. Uh, take the L for an hour. <laughs> There was this dude, uh, this chick who posted something on on TikTok very similar where she was like, we found out he was dating or talking to her, seeing all four of us. And so we did a photo shoot together. And I went, that's his favorite thing ever. Him seeing that, he showed all his boys. He's like, yo, look at this. He has a picture of you in his house. He's like, I, that was my that was my lineup once. That, then they boys, fucking boys, killed, boys, dude. Boys. Look at how Having the lineup up. all together is crazy. Yeah. You're Amazing. right. Amazing. Amazing. I've had that a few times in my life where it's like, you know, it smashed dip girls at different points and now they're sort of around the friend group or whatever yeah. and there's three of them like standing beside each other and you're, you're like, like pretty funny pretty <laughs> <laughs> dude there was one time I was at this party and I was high on MDMA and there's this chick who came who I didn't know was going to be there who I had banged and there was another chick who, uh, who I was currently banging and they know that I banged each other the girl who I didn't know was going to be there was talking to me then the other girl walked up and like it was like oh I'm going to be in this conversation too like we're you're compete. talking to both of them yeah so I'm talking to both of them at the same time I'm high on MDMA the c the conversation just kind of dies and I go I gotta pee and I just leave the two of them <laughs> then what happened I fucking don't know <laughs> dude I went home with a different girl that night I went home with a third one the dogs are in the building <laughs> what are you asking me for I went and fucked two other chicks in the bathroom <laughs> Came out, asked these two girls to smell my fingers. <laughs> Dorena out. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, man! <laughs> sure that. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Good stuff, boys. Skype him in. You yeah. know what else? I thought that another thing is you sort of have uh, Jay the most because uh, me and JJ were talking about this about you because you have like obviously everyone's like technology's making everything worse everyone's glued to their phones yeah. video games are bad for you jerking off for you is bad for you you're one of the only people that you're just like none of this stuff's bad for me no. it's like it is what it is it's sick it doesn't dude. affect you dude it's awesome it's like what there's booty pictures everywhere we get to fucking hang out like you love this era oh it's amazing yeah. it's yeah. amazing there's like dude. a 5% chance though in like 15 years from now you're gonna be like a like a pastor though Though. You're gonna go like the full mace. You're gonna, you're gonna mace. like, yeah, mace. Like, exactly. Yeah. You're gonna be like full mace. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'm just I've like seen the hairs of my ways. <laughs> I was addicted to every <laughs> substance you can imagine video games, television, pussy. Horse, <laughs> horse, ten and nights. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's gonna be telling that I'll same story. I've sinned. Uh, yeah. and no. One time they were talking to each other at a party. You're gonna be telling the same story, <laughs> yeah. but in a, I was high <laughs> on drugs. <laughs> <and> my <laughs> darkest moments, <laughs> and I went home with a third one. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I didn't recognize the man that I'd become. <laughs> My wrist muscles were so strong, so strong. <laughs> I could lift up a whore on each finger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god Yeah no there is a chance But very very small, very chance. small chance But it's, it does seem like You're sort of It is sort of You're di maybe wired right For this or something Yeah I'm like I'm having a good time I'm having fun I like my alone time I like the fucking Different pussy moving in and out I like playing video games I'm like why the fuck Just just love it Okay dude. but yeah. even like You're on your phone All day long That yeah. obviously can be good for you But you seem to Sort of not let it affect you Like I feel like That's not good for me I cut it out When I need to cut it out Like I, I don't look at my phone Till later in the day I have like my things that that helped me be like a human being but uh, besides that i'm like yeah i like my phone so much my phone is like my favorite i do love i thing. do love it too i agree yeah. i can go on instagram and not be affected because i still do again what you said i you can't do i have my routine in the morning you're like i don't know oh, he has a 20 hour morning routine I have a, <laughs> it's like i'm so efficient i do six hours of morning routine yeah, yeah. it's great no yeah my morning routine is like i usually start at like nine and then i'm done by like three yeah, it's like, but that's like so big morning routine. It's, it's so cute. efficient. But that's also that's making content. That's writing jokes. Oh, that's, that's, fucking, called, that's not your morning routine. That's your job. But yeah, that's yeah. Like, no. I mean, like the you, walk, the yoga, the stretch. This is all shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the walk, walk yoga, the so, yoga, and then the breathing. Yeah, the breathing. Walk, that's it's an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. That, hour and a half. We're good to go. Yeah. But, Feel great. But Remember when you, Danny, had the box for your phone? That was sort of short. I still have the box. Do you ever oh. use the box? I still use the box. <laughs> oh, you do use the box. I have the box. Oh, first yeah. you first girlfriend. Yeah, I just put it away. Oh, I just yeah. literally, it's like one of those timed cookie jars. <laughs> Where you're just like, yeah, can't get in. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't get into it. Also but. has a Dude, I like cookie jar. <laughs> 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 that do <laughs> you get dings? Oh, it's treat time! <laughs> <laughs> Ding at treat time! Oh, it's just the phone box. <laughs> Damn, that's... <laughs> No, that's when I that's when I take time to make cookies. Yeah, I put, they alternate. Yeah, they alternate. I put the phone away and then I go make a batch of twenty four. With, that, of with that phone charge, lock, he smashes the cookie. Dude, yeah, he has a Heather box too. Bro, <laughs> my favorite, <laughs> my favorite thing when I'm in. Uh, sometimes I accept it. I'm like, I'm gonna be a slug, like you're hungover or some shit. I will fucking like watch porn repeatedly, play video games all day, and then order takeout all day. And just, I'm like, just this dopamine is, nonstop. Oh, it's the just, best. Just, fucking day bing, ever bing. yeah but that's so, once that's like a, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, once every two weeks uh, no 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 not even that often i try uh, to yeah once a month is like i'm just in the hole i mean and i just fuck i call it the triangle of disgustingness because you just <laughs> bounce from point to point on the triangle <laughs> and you just live in it you yeah. live in it i love it that's the one where you order take out have a bit of it and then order another one oh, yes yeah, absolutely <laughs> yeah order dessert from one place food from another yes. place you can order two uber eats at the same time yeah you can get them both running really your place. yeah they oh, ask yeah. They ask you, you are like, you sure? They would like, like is, they this say, <laughs> like, is this a mistake? No, they say, would you like, uh, while we're waiting for this order, to put in another order? Well, oh, your, they actually prompt yeah, you? Yeah, and they give you options like desserts. It looks like you're not, it's that Greg Giraldo bit. They know I, they got a sucker yeah. on the horn. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uber Eats is one of the greatest marvels of all time. It really like, is. Dude, fuck the pyramids. Fuck that shit. It's, Eats, like, yeah. it's like, oh, big rock buildings? Dude, a guy on a bicycle that I don't know brings me a delicious meal and then disappears? Yeah. I'm not. Who, and that guy came to America to like live the American dream. And dude, I'm dreaming over here. <laughs> dude, I'm loving this. But shit. not only that, I swear to God, I thought of this idea when I was a kid because all you could order you when thought you, of Uber Eats, dude. When you were, I'm older than you, so you'll never understand. Mm -hmm. There was a time you could only order Chinese and pizza, and I thought, how great would it be to get something else? I, I fucking thought of it. You I, invented Uber Eats. <laughs> 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 I swear, I swear to God. I had a buddy who had what about what about this? But more. <laughs> 1992. I had a buddy who had this business in in Mexico. He literally had a delivery service you could call that would bring you any. Yeah, he was JJ Money. Yeah. That much. 
Dude, yeah. but then I guess Uber probably wiped well, them out. Well, but they're just super inefficient because... Yeah, well, because you know, Uber's just too the thing. Good. The reason Uber Eats works is because there's someone that happens to be like a minute away from whatever place mm-hmm. you are. Yeah. It's like that guy's like, oh, I'm across town. I'll get to it in an hour and a they half. Don't, yeah. They or, don't even speak English. Why do they need to? Well, what I'm saying is not, they're not Americans. Yeah. <laughs> they're like so... There's illegal. Americans who don't speak English. <laughs> sure, but yeah, these yeah. guys... No, yeah, yeah, I know. That's, that's what uh, one of our buddies says, uh, that if... Anything happens, those are the guys you got to watch out for because they all have the scooters. It's like they're going to be. Driving. What do you mean if anything well, happens? Yeah, what do you mean watch out? Like if for? if there's a civil war, <laughs> oh, <laughs> those guys who can operate on those fucking scooters and Molotov. Cocktails? This is what you and your buddy are talking about. Oh yeah, <laughs> him and Bob oh, the Civil war happens. You, know, <laughs> you got to watch out for those <laughs> guys. guys. You got to watch out for them. No, if anything, you got to be like, how much for me to hitch a ride? Let's get out of town. And now oh, you're friends right. with one. Yeah. yeah. yeah now dude. you're just like you've you've partnered up with one to get you out of town. You should learn Spanish. That's the move. I think. I think if, if, they if, don't all speak. Spanish. <laughs> That's true. That is fucking <laughs> so, true. So, I do speak like basic. Eno- I speak enough Spanish. I go south. That's the move. Yeah. If, if it kicks off, they're like, <laughs> "We're sending you to war." Fucking, there. I'm going right. I'm well, the problem it. is, is when you're in like if because every I've said this before, but like every doomsday like fucked up thing, it always takes place is modeled in New York City. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like they're always like any bad thing, like like mm-hmm. a chemical spill, nuke. They're all the happening. Ocean. Here. A n- a day after tomorrow, New York. All, all of it happens in New York City. But like, if we're here, like, I think you're kind of fucked. Unless yeah. you, you're you have like, bridges, you right? have maybe bridges. Like, I think you have maybe five minutes because you have to catch all the Ubers like out of town and stuff, <laughs> yeah. or like t- cabs. Or well, whatever. they're not going to drive either. They're going to take the care of their families. Exactly. Yeah. So you, they're going to be like, "Fuck this." So then you're, what, are you going to take the subway? You're not. No, walk you have you have yeah. to walk. If you get any sniff of it. You have to start. What are you going to walk to Westchester? Bro, you got a sniff. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm prepared. I have my fucking water things, my bug out bag. I have <laughs> stuff. Oh, and yeah. then, but, but what's okay? So you 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 plan this? What's in this? JJ's bug out bag? I have, I have two exit bug man We've bag. talked about JJ's this. bug man bag. It's just <laughs> a flashlight, bug out bag, lube. <laughs> JJ knows there's gonna be some thirsty chicks in the apocalypse. Yeah, he just has like a picture of some hairless blonde guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Over eighteen. Pro- pro- over protein. eighteen. Yeah, it's that's when he takes off his war helmet. That's what's in there. He's like, oh, this is what's keeping me going, boys. I can't say who, but I have, a, and I can't say what state, but it's northeast of here. <laughs> yeah. I have a plan right now. Okay, but okay, so you have a plan. You, yes. you northeast of here. Uh, so what are we talking about? You can't say what state. Maybe Vermont. Maybe. maybe. Okay, so how do you get shit going down? There's like a fucking three, sirens, panic three day in the walk. streets. It's a three day walk. We've already done it. it takes we three days to walk. We've to Maine? mapped it out. Yeah. Who's we? What's that? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't name names in these situations. I don't name names. I don't name names. I can't say. <laughs> Straight secret. I, I don't know if I'm buying. Cause, but when do you sleep? You sleep in like a ditch. And well, stuff? we have the back roads and everything. We already <laughs> yeah. have it mapped out. We have a bunker. No, bunker my. in it's Maine. Like, you have yeah, a bunker in we Maine. We have a place, and there's and, and sugar there's, daddy, and there's guns right. and everything. Let's see how long it takes to walk to Maine. Maybe it takes longer than three days, but we. When COVID, but was, how do you even get out of New York? But I that's, can't. That's I can't. This, this could go viral. I'm not telling my. Plan. I guess you gotta steal it. No, you I'm need a city. My Actually, you know what? You need a city bike. You need to steal a city bike. City bike. City bike is the way out. Oh, yeah. city bike is the way out, dude. Yeah. A motorcycle is real good. You get like a dirt bike. You cross the border with that because the border is gonna be fucked. Oh the yeah. Border is gonna be main rammed. roads are gonna be fucked too. Yeah. So I mean, you, I try to get back to Canada, to be honest. No. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking Canada's going to be, like, if it goes down bad, Canada's going to be, like, fully policed. You'd rather be in yes. Mexico, though? That's I, a yes. good point. Yeah, I think I, I... It is fully a police state right now. I'd rather uh-huh. be in Mexico. You'd be in a rainbow prison, yeah. 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 I think I go... I keep going south for as far as I can go. I try to make it to Chile. Who yeah, I agree. With Chile? Somewhere in South America is yeah. better than... Mexico is good. Nah, but they're lawless down there. You, but it doesn't you don't have matter. weapons? I'm not going fucking south without... You'll like, get hey, weapons. You, no, you're not. What do you mean you're getting weapons? Yes. No, but they're not going to be... Dopey Jew? What are you going to do with weapons? <laughs> I'm going to hire some fucking immigrant who can fire them. Yeah, and then Dude. he's going to kill you and take all your shit. Ah! No, I think weapons. farm. You want to go to a farm, something that's useful yeah. so that you, like the, whoever like the occupying people are, you make trade. I'm a, I'm a body. Ooh. I'll work on the farm. I'll dig. I'll be like pushing the plow, whatever. I'm like, yeah, that's that's my role now. That is my role. <laughs> Jay's like, I can make TikTok of me farming. Yeah, is I mean, that anything? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Look> at- <laughs> Excuse me, I can do a TikTok rain dance to make the crops grow. <laughs> is that something that we need? <laughs> this is 
<laughs> Jay, 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 you're there. The other the guys just like fixing the crops, and then you come up like, see what he's doing here. <laughs> <laughs> you just pop up. Some yeah. guys, mil- no. What happens is he's milking the cows, yeah. and then you make a funny face. <laughs> Whoa! Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> 2024 is the year for the boys. The year for the fellas. You're gonna cut back on sugar, add protein to the diet, stay on track with the fitness goals, and Magic Spoon makes that easy and more delicious than ever. Mm-hmm. Listen, I've always been a cereal guy. It's been part of the RL regiment. Not even a breakfast cereal guy, just an all-day cereal. It's a nice snack. Jerry Seinfeld style. Yeah. Oh, and that's oh. why we're telling you about Magic Spoon. All of the best parts about being a kid, but as you're an adult, <laughs> as you get older, you're going to want to watch out for sugar. You're going to want to eat less empty carbs. Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors you love, but high protein, less sugar. I, you, I've you, i been telling you that I do protein shakes, powder. I've been on that stuff. DP's been on that stuff. But I finally found a delicious way to get protein before and after workouts in a delicious fashion. And they got the variety pack with the four flavors, which are cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter, which is fire. The pack has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five grams of net carbs, and only 140 calories per serving. It's a high protein, zero grams of sugar, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free. We know they like that. Mm -hmm. My favorite, personally, is the peanut butter at this point, but I do go back and forth. I, right? You do sort of switch back and forth. Yeah, you know what I, know. I mean? So, fellas, there's a new sponsor that we've just added to the Boys Cast. Go to magicspoon.com slash boyscast. Grab the variety pack today and be sure to use our promo code boyscast at checkout to save $5 off your order. Magic Spoon is so confident in the product, back with a 100% happiness guarantee. So, if you don't like it for any reason, they'll give you a refund on your money, no questions asked. Remember, we're starting the year off with a delicious bowl of high protein cereal at magicspoon.com slash boys cast using the promo code boys cast to save five dollars off taking care of your health isn't always easy but it should be simple and that's why for the last i think three years at this point i've been on ag1 every single day no exceptions when we were planning for the the uk trip i actually just took a bunch of travel packs put them in the suitcase i got my pack i have half in the front half in the back so this is just one scoop mixed in water once a day every day and it makes me feel great that's because each serving of ag1 delivers a daily dose of vitamins minerals pre and probiotics and more it's a powerful healthy habit that's also powerfully simple i drink it every day first thing in the morning which is recommended for optimal nutrient absorption fill up the shaker cold water one scoop of ag1 shake it up ready to go if i'm running short on time i can't mix the ag1 before heading out well then maybe time to grab a travel pack wherever you're going which most of the time you can probably find the 40 seconds to make your ag1 yeah, of course. <laughs> each is an individual serving of ag1 that's easy to mix on the go helping to ensure you get the daily nutrients no matter what Health doesn't have to be complicated. It's hard to remember to take all the multivitamins. A lot of times you start and then you stop. And if there's one product I recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why we partnered with them at the Boys Cast for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash boyscast. That's drinkag1.com slash boyscast and check it out. <laughs> seven days to walk is this useful <laughs> yeah <laughs> like you got to get the fuck off this farm right now <laughs> like, get off the farm put your phone in the box those are your options right now oh uh, it would be brutal <laughs> holy to be like, set back you don't like even that. have internet you're like i'm cl- storing them. yeah now. dude when it comes back we're also gonna have a so- that's another thing imagine solar flare you're like so how do you even get to maine you got a uh. compass yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> have a, the, bug, the bug out bag has everything. The bug out bag has everything. It has knives. It has fucking emergency Dude, the stuff. The idea of you just being like, let's just walk northeast. <laughs> north yeah. east back with Maine. I have a good partner. Dude, you're going to wind up in fucking like Seattle or some Dude. shit. Uh, yeah. Dude, that place would go crazy. Have you seen the videos of Seattle? I watched an hour of a guy walking through Tent City and stuff like that. Oh, it's yeah. In, Seattle is disgusting. Stick. They have that everywhere, though. All those tent city things, you're like, they have those videos everywhere. Every not city like, has like, not, no, it's crazier in Seattle, dude. I told you, I was meet, I was talking to a guy from Seattle, and he basically said they had 
the homeless people had this whole big tent city, yeah. and then the homeless people oh, yeah, basically uh, had they had homeless police that were keeping other oh, people yeah, right, because their tent city was and full. They, and oh, they blo- really, and New York's like the only place that doesn't have that. They've blocked off in Portland, I think it is the four after the BLM protests. They have this. Whole yeah, they area. had the chop and the chaz. That's gone though. That's gone. That's now? long gone. That was right. only during like uh, no. There's something right now. They that's all have still, the, yeah. They have the tent cities, but yeah, not but the, the, oh, not the downtown. I don't think they have like the chop. When we were where were we? Oh, Denver, uh, Denver, 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 dude, this was fucking insane. We went to a place to go eat for breakfast in uh, Denver, and then driving back, our hotel was right near the the club. But if you went one way, it's fine. If you go the other way, you're fucked. Yeah, but Danny's right. That's ever, that's East Hastings. That's so many yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. Toronto, Toronto that. dude, like like really? uh, Trinity Bellwoods. Well, because they Toronto. used to have stuff like the in uh, in Vancouver. There was fucking this place. Uh, oh, fuck, I can't remember what it's called, but it was just a big like fucking East, uh, East, Hastings. East Hastings. No, East, not East Hastings. It was oh. an insane asylum. Like they had oh, no, they and had, it shut and down. They shut it down, and once they shut it down, police arrest for mental illness went from like nine a week to like two hundred and seventy a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like there's nowhere they got nowhere to go. If someone's like m- severely mentally ill and all the streets it's not like oh they're gonna clean it up and no. they're gonna get no they need a fucking institution to take care of them because yeah, that's the only option you're right and, and that institution thing they sort of shut it down on the premise of like this is medieval right it was yeah. kind of like yeah, that. Go, like, this, this is, is rude for us to put them in an institution it was like all right get out there yeah, it's like yeah they well, just sort of unleash them ah they're just <laughs> what they are shutter <laughs> island they just fucking yeah, yeah, emptied yeah. it the, stop, the yeah. stop to get out here 35th and 8 there's just six people right there like they're not humans. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. They're not humans. Oh. Oh. And this has nothing to do with race. There was mixed races out there. So <laughs> no white not- people, but mixed race. <laughs> 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 I swear I saw a whitey. Dude. They're okay. honestly like around here, they're bad. They're not that bad. There's worse parts. No, 35th yeah. and 8th. Do you remember during brutal. COVID when everybody left around here and then I it was just here. full of junkies? Oh, I wasn't here. here. And then it's just like the whole, this whole area just became occupied by just junkies. That's no. wild. That's yeah. one thing New York doesn't really have is like everyone's spread out. Everyone has like, the city's so big and there's not like a tent city here. Well, there's no, because New York is the only city, I think the only city in America where they have a law here where you can't be homeless. Oh, really? They, you have to, they have a thing it's like this is the whole problem in the city they have to find you a bed yeah they have to like you if you show up doesn't matter if you're not from here or whatever if you're like I'm homeless they have to find you a bed which is why they're putting them in hotels uh, and, and Adams is trying to get rid of it because he's like it's literally bankrupting the city but it's also it's like then where are they going to go they're going to go to you Ooh. need to find well the I solution. guess the idea is they stop coming to some degree right like yeah, it's preventative go, mm-hmm. if you go like obviously, if you hear, "Hey, if we get to New York, we get a free bed." Yeah, like yeah. you know, it's the same as people go to the warmer places normally. But yeah. it's you know, there's obviously yeah, like, like Chicago, an Chicago or Boston, thing. they don't have that. No, yeah. but Chicago, they'll, 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 they'll same with like Toronto. They'll just be like, "Sorry, we're out of beds." But mm-hmm. because Chicago's so cold, if you go ride the subway, the subway's scary in Chicago. The, when we were there, I rode the subway. It's br- the subway in Chicago is worse than here. Really? Oh, dangerous. Well, it's that, it's that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really uncomfortable. Mm. Like real crack, crack infested. But you need you need a solution. You can't <laughs> just be like, we're going to put you all on the streets. You need some sort of thing because people aren't I mean, gonna... they have a good, they had a good solution before the migrant thing, which is they're like, yeah, we'll just literally put everybody in a bed and deal with it. Yeah. All right. So the boys panel solved homelessness. Um, <laughs> okay. Here's a, a, I have a couple of quick ones. So one JJ one. Uh, straight men with bisexual genes are more likely to have children because the variations are linked to risk taking study claims. Yeah. I saw that. That's a true thing. So well, well, I think bi, this is kind gene? of a theory we, me and JJ were arguing with girls about because it's sort of uh, there's two types of uh, gay men. It's like very deviant or very feminine, right? Yes. Those are the two. And so, yeah, they're saying it's more likely to have kids, but th- this article is trying to pitch essentially that b- bisexuality may have arisen in humans for good reason to have more children. It was, it was trying to say it's like evolutionary, the biology, uh, bisexuality is like a good thing. Basically, it's like propaganda article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, if it did send JJ here to repopulate the earth, <laughs> <laughs> sort of a propaganda thing. It's Dude. actually, actually, you're even more of a man. That's like, when, you know. Yeah, it's like you have the tendency to suck dick. Well, you're the most masculine guy around. <laughs> it's definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, could you imagine? Black JJ? comedy community wouldn't fuck with that theory. No, <laughs> no, no, not a chance. And also, JJ with six kids. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, could you? you imagine all these kids running around with these Bunch ideas? Of little I mean, he has two dogs <laughs> yeah. with diapers. Uh, yeah. It's not, Took care of them. Yeah. It's not, it's not crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. It's not the craziest. I could probably be a great dad. 
Yeah. Jay, are you still getting the vasectomy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I'm getting the vasectomy. Interesting, eh? Uh, You're getting yeah. a vasectomy? Getting a vasectomy. Dude. Yeah, I, I think it's February 26th or 27th. It's on the book. It's on the book. Just bo to protect uh, the assets? Uh, to protect the assets. He doesn't awesome. trust the hose. I don't trust the hose. I, but I guess you could reverse it. Well, uh, you can reverse it. I know it's not 100%, but also if I really want a kid, I'll adopt if the reversal doesn't work. But I'll, And I'm like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I don't want kids at all right now. Yeah. I keep seeing that article of fucking Seth Rogen being like, yeah, not having kids was actually the best thing I ever did. He's like, I think I get more joy out of not having kids than my <laughs> than my friends do out of raising children. And I'm like, yeah, you don't maybe. know because you know you're comparing something you don't know to something you don't know. I e guess exactly. And it's like uh, maybe it's just not for me. But if I want it to be for me, I can do it later. But right now, if I had a kid, it would fuck up everything mm -hmm, dude yeah. i'm laying in bed watching porn jerking off fucking playing video yeah but you could just food. be a deadbeat dad who's just kind of ah that sucks though <laughs> that's yeah, yeah that yeah. would that would just eat you like if you have any kind of fucking and if it gets out it's gonna yeah, hurt your it... ticket sales like <laughs> uh, yours <laughs> Your ticket sales? <laughs> yeah, if it turns out he's a deadbeat dad. Specifically, you? Yeah, it could be. It could be like, oh, Dude, man. that might be part of the brand. Yeah, it could like, be. Oh, yeah, you're like, I've been fucking spraying all over. What do you think was going to happen? <laughs> of course, one of these whores got knocked up. And no, I don't want to keep it. You have the, you're the deadbeat dad, and then you start a new channel, what's always with your shirt off, and his deadbeat Chad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only Chad content. About how you're I mean, I don't think I don't. Anthony Edwards or Zion Williamson or whatever, like, they didn't have any. No, but I mean, it, it's going to cost you money, and I don't It'll have... cost you money for sure. I don't have Zion money. Williams money. And I think if you have one, then you go the fucking Nick Cannon route where you try to just do 10 and then it's like... It's one or 10. <laughs> it's one or 10. <laughs> And oh, that's then, how you, it's feast or famine for you. Well, because then the, I heard the just, Nick Cannon thing is like, if you have so many, you legally can't support, you don't have to support them because there's too many. It's like a loophole. Oh. Once you get over 10, they're like, what? the courts are like, Dude, you don't have to pay Can you imagine like, having, a chick a movie take, premise. Yeah. having a chick taking you to court? You have a court date in 10 months for your child support, and then you go pregnant 11 different chicks. <laughs> I got too many on the go, man. I can't afford any of them. Dude. So that's a real thing. I, that's what I heard. I don't I'm, know. I didn't I'm, do the <laughs> research. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, I imagine the canon is... You know, there, there's so it's many It's probably rocks. the percentage probably does, like, that you're entitled to goes down. Because, like, I'm a Udoka or whatever. He just had... Uh, some some alimony thing and he basically was like ten percent of his, his really? income. Oh. You, can't, you can't give ten percent of your income to fucking twelve chicks. Like, no, that's no. not possible. Because yeah. I think there's like six uh, Rock brothers, Chris Rock, Jordan Rock. Like all, they're all a bunch of them in their con Tony. Yeah, like they all do comedy. But Chris Rock in the documentary, I don't know if you said he's like he he doesn't help out anyone. They're like <laughs> What's he's do with child support? <laughs> no, because well he's not oh. the father. But I'm just saying it is funny that they're like Tony said like I won't ask him for anything because he'll just say no. No, which Dude. is great. Which is Savage. a way you should do it. Yeah. I think a little bit yeah, here and there is not bad. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, helping out your brother. Yeah, nah, I like that. I'm like, nah, I did it. You do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Don't you like that? I think I would help out a little bit. Like I, 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 uh, I went on a trip with some family and stuff, and I paid for a lot of uh, it. It's yeah. like, yeah, I'll do stuff like that. I don't see what, yeah, what's the no, but that's it? different. He's talking in terms for of just like career, comedy. helping the career. Uh, yeah, I would, I would help here and there, but there would be like uh, sorry man i can't help you on this one like I, there, I wouldn't be willing to sacrifice some connections you know? right yeah okay yeah. so the next thing is why this study could have damaging consequences for borderline personality disorder oh, community this. so essentially th they were doing the hot uh, versus crazy access. Yes. And this study went viral, like people getting mad at it because of uh, essentially How they were true it is? sexist. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, all, yeah. no, no, what it was. They like basically a guy did a study of like whether people uh, like girls that have bipolar disorder based on how hot they were. Yes. And you can imagine why that wasn't like a popular in like today's day and age or yeah. whatever, right? But the. So this was, the, and then they did a guy based on how rich he is, based on how good looking he is. And the study actually is pretty crazy because it was basically what you would think. It said, if, if a girl's ugly and she has BPD, she's the least desirable. But if she's hot and she has bipolar disorder, she's the most desirable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So short guys term. Like, but short, only short term. Only it, short term, yeah. Only short term. But it was kind of interesting because it's everything's like that. Even when a girl has like a mark on her face, if yeah. she's smoking hot, it kind of makes her a little bit hotter. But if Dude. she's ugly, it's like makes her a little yeah. uglier. Dude. Which, but just but then when you've been living thing. for two years and you wake up in the morning, you go, ah, you still got that mark. <laughs> huh? Yeah, but if, if she's hot, the mark's kind of cute. Yeah. It's a Cindy. Uh, like missing a finger on like 
like a smoke show is like you're like oh no, a you little know what? character a yeah. little character it's a yeah. scar yeah. on a good looking guy versus a scar on yes. a gargoyle yeah dude my buddy said this once I was like oh I love hot chicks with tattoos he's like no you just love hot chicks yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> that's the math yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah of course you do fucking <laughs> put a frying pan on a hot chick's head you're like oh is that the new thing oh frying pans oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah dude i love that study where they dr did the math on like hot crazy it's like yeah it's the best pussy i tweeted like two years ago bipolar pussy the best pussy For like sure. it's been we've it's been known we yeah. didn't need a little to do something different every time oh yeah dude. yeah you want it hot cool the I hot guess the, cool video. yeah i guess yeah. the only re well it was just interesting that they scientifically did it yeah but also <laughs> just doing the hot crazy axis for real like just some bros <laughs> at the science lab but it is interesting that you think it might not change as much short term with the average or a good look but the fact that it was like uh, stay away from any girl that's ugly but when they're hot it was the best thing i yeah. thought that yeah. was pretty yeah because yeah, yeah. for a bit it's the novel there's so much novelty that you're like holy shit she's crazy she's like she assaulted a cab driver yesterday <laughs> it's like this is awesome and then you're like fuck she assaulted a cab driver again. <laughs> and she's a six yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but the difference is too the, 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 the hot subway. ones to the ugly ones. Uh, the hot ones don't have opinions. The ugly ones. Oh, hot ones have opinions. No, yeah. but not like them. social. <laughs> not social opinions. What was that Reddit forum? Remember all these bitches are complaining nonstop. About <laughs> R slash bitches complaining. I believe oh. it's subreddit. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's all these fucking blue haired land whales that have so many opinions that are so ugly. It's. <laughs> It's you true. can't even see their pictures on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's not off. He's not wrong. <laughs> it's a calculated oh. guess. Yeah. Dude, holy you, shit. you think a hot chick's posting? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I did the math. Dude, most hot chicks don't even know what Reddit is. <laughs> no, no, that's true. Hot chicks aren't going over to Reddit. That's not their platform. That's not a hot. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a hot chick platform. Calculated yeah. guess. Oh, yeah. dude, fuck. Well, here's a question. Would you, uh, could you date Gypsy Rose? I feel like you're the only one that could pull that off in this squad right now. The Gypsy Rose <laughs> thing? Do you see her posting about how she's I watched like episode one of the documentary. Good. Let me uh, see. Oh, uh, you don't know who Gypsy Rose is? No. Oh, t she tell looks you like the, She looks like the kid from story, Deliverance yeah. with a wig on. <laughs> 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 Hold on, let me see. <laughs> so, Gypsy Rose, her <laughs> mom was portraying her as dying from cancer and was like abusing her, doing all this fucked up shit to her to basically get money to be like, oh, I need to support my kid who's dying. And she wasn't dying. She was like shaving her head. And I think like. Munchausen by proxy is the. What's that? Is the whatever the term. The term of what she is was doing. When you make them sick, you basically make Munchausen, them sick. Munchausen, yeah. Yeah, for sick. That's, uh, yeah. what's his face? Uh, God sad. So, yeah. yeah, so she was doing this for years to her daughter. And then her daughter eventually met like a new guy and then they started the, having a relationship and they like in jail it, just the guy straight up well, like, no, no, no. he dude, killed she killed her mom yeah she killed her and mom. then went to jail oh yeah. and just got out and now she has this like she's like blowing up and has this hbo document. but then the guy yeah. she's married right. to straight up slid into her dms in prison really in form, you didn't know that so no. the guy she's marrying right now yeah slid into her prison dms in the form of a written letter oh my god like it, it worked i guess for yeah. him and this guy is not the best looking guy he's kind of like a big ogre type of dude yeah, yeah it looks then, like peter griffin yeah he, <laughs> yeah he does look like he, does look <laughs> he very, looks very he much does like, look peter like peter griffin, griffin. Yeah. yeah it looks like peter yeah. griffin yeah yeah, yeah and she was probably getting tons of messages dude oh yeah when you're in jail for shit like that and especially she was sort of sympathetic in the story she was it was probably i never even heard of her until like two weeks but ago. See, I, i've been hearing about her yeah, because I've girls are all this. about this i've heard about this but didn't she get her in the Stanley Cups is that the whole girl thing? Yeah, in the last couple of weeks for sure. But. <laughs> That's, the girls love their Stanley Cups. They love Gypsy Rose. Yeah, dude. And shopping, <laughs> dude. That fucking like, there's like a video of a girl getting one of those Stanley Cups for Christmas and she starts crying. No, oh my, and she's God. so happy. I'm like, what's going on? They are pretty sick, dude. I, I saw one where a it's guy a fucking thermos. No, it's colder. <laughs> I'm telling oh, yeah. you, it's. I'm not one to go with the you girl propaganda. One? Yes, the Vettis. Yeah. The, you, you literally Yeti, yetis honestly it, it, I'm, I'm embarrassed even talking about it but it is better okay how cold does it stay um, you, fucking freeze your ears yeah, up but they, you, but you didn't give a shit about this two years ago don't put your finger in there I'll tell you that much <laughs> the Yeti coffee mug is you don't want to put your dick in there. Tell you that much, dude. It's it's basically Yeti. It's new Yeti well, yeah, branded towards I'm women. Not, moving on from the Stanley Cup. <laughs> it's not for, not boys panel conversation. Oh, no, no, 
Dude, I, no. I brought it up. No. I apologize. The original Stanley Cup's the only cup. <laughs> yeah, we about. if we want to talk about the fucking cup <laughs> on this podcast, we can talk oh. about the cup. The talk about fucking Willie <laughs> Nylander getting locked up for a fucking eight years. <laughs> So he got he went. You to want to jail. talk about the cup and it being cold? You try no, six a.m. practice. I'll tell you that much. That's, <laughs> and you're trying to get that cup. Fucking bag cold. skates at six a.m. That's the only cup we're talking about, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. Gypsy Rose, the girls are in, really into this, but it's a big documentary, so it's blown up more. But the, you're you're talking about the stuff she's posting online, right? Yeah, yeah. She's talking about how her her husband is like giving her the best dick. <laughs> like every I have she the goes, message. I can the, read it. the dick is fire, and like there's more. Multiple posts of the dick is fired TikToks of her being like, "I'm out, I'm living my best life, and the D is fire." How many like, how many different guys do you think she's had sex with in her life? Ooh, this might be her f- yeah. I think yeah. two, no three, three. Yeah, she sort of said, and I think she was sort of saying she has another thing where she said her grandfather molested her. Oh shit! And the grandfather's still alive, and he was just like, didn't happen. <laughs> but the grandfather sort of had a weird one because the grandfather goes, "No, I remember she tried to touch me at one point, and I told her no, not." And I was like. <laughs> Probably better off saying no. It's like she was like six, and he was like, she actually she tried. He's like but bitches I, be lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gay. You're gay. She was coming on to me. I had to fucking pump the brakes on this one. That's fucking nuts. Well, it is dude. sort of like gay though, because they say that people that are molested are more likely to molest, and people that were like I think molested are more likely to be gay. They have that same thing, right? Oh, really? Well, basically, being molested is contagious. That's <laughs> 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 essentially whether being gay is contagious. Because if you have sex with another man, he's oh. probably more likely to. Then have sex with another man after. Yeah, you're passing it <laughs> sort on. Sort of is contagious. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this podcast from over here. For now. <laughs> you're gonna catch the JJ gay. I'll read you a thing though. Uh, the guy's name is Ryan, by the way. Oh, love it, love it. <laughs> so people were posting, and then people, a lot of people were hating on. She goes, Ryan, don't listen to the haters. I love you, uh, and you love me. We do not owe anyone anything. Our family's all that matters. If you get likes and good comments, great. If you get hate, then that's fine too. Whatever, they don't matter. I love you. Because they just jealous because you are rocking my world every night. <laughs> yeah, I said it. The D is fire. Fire emoji. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. I love it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Dude, and also great for him. He's getting gassed up. Yeah. This yeah. guy was nobody a while ago. And he did the move. He he bought low and sold. I mean, maybe sell high. But You're he's like, right. He like went it. She's in prison. She's like fucking. He's like, I'm going to slide and in And she's now. not one of those. Have you ever seen on TikTok? Do you know why he said The he girls do the like. They have the online dating oh, yeah, yeah, thing yeah. In, in prison. I, what? No. So prison oh, has like I a thing it. for pen pals, but it's like the modern version of it now. Yeah. Where there's like TikToks that are that just replay them. And so you go and you have like a little camera and you just, it's like an old like video dating from like the 90s or whatever, where you like pick up the phone, you go, hey, my name is so-so. I'm just looking to like meet people. And then that's how people connect with you on. On so the like, phone. No, yeah. no, no, no. You leave a video and then that's how you start pen oh. pals. But that's how you like introduce yourself. And so, but there's like some hot chick. Oh. Oh, there's some bangers, And man. so this dude was like, he he scrolled to page like 99, like the last page. <laughs> no, <laughs> know what he said. No, he actually is public with this. And he said the reason he's uh, he was into her and he got the idea is because he was watching Tiger King. <laughs> and what? he said the Tiger King guy was in jail. And then he started thinking about who else is in jail. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is what he says. Dude. He said the Tiger King gave him the inspiration to message her. Oh. <laughs> That's, he's thinking outside the box. Like, he's not the best looking dude. He's yes. like, all this pussy outside the prison ain't yeah. getting give me nothing what about the pussy in the prison yeah. I'm this gonna go. kind of goes back to this uh, Matrix thing though because he chose gross and crazy yeah which is did. the least desirable uh, the hot and crazy girl she's like some hot chick with fucking tears he chose tats. famous and crazy though was she fa- that famous before this though mm, that's a good question like before like they're really pumping her because she has an HBO doc coming out but she was just like a blip in the news I think I don't think she was like I don't remember this being some insane national news uh, how, no girls have been on how, the, how was this not a defense I do remember I remember hearing this. I thought what? that was a defense, like the Munchausen thing. I don't know if you're allowed to murder someone. Over but that. I, I think she probably premeditated. Like, oh, yeah, and okay. I think it's it probably reduced her sentence because she didn't get life in prison. She uh, got like, didn't she do like eight years yeah, or something? Eight years, eight like, years is not bad. That's normal though for like a. Uh, I mean, a lot of people for their first crime for a murder, like you'll really? end up serving them. It was eight. her and uh, another guy that did it. Too. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I thought this is what I thought was the guy who she's dating was the one who helped her kill. Nah, this, uh, that guy's oh. still on the fucking clink. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, they spent. <laughs> All the work, he's getting no buzz. He's getting no documentary either. He got a bum deal out of all this. This is like when they. That's sim- what you get for simping, though. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I think that that guy learned his lesson about simping for a girl to kill her mom. Yeah. It's a good life lesson for everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
This is like in in the the social network. Oh, she when, didn't do the murder. The guy who w- stabbed her seven times. She is organized. Times, she it. organized. Uh, it. Yeah. Still, again, it is the simp. Yeah. And then yeah. she afterwards simp she had life. sex with the guy in in the room. Right after she said the she after they yeah. killed her, oh, which yeah. is probably really hot. Yeah, that is actually. Oh, pretty she said nuts. she was against her will. Oh. oh okay. So I guess oh, you guys oh. might think so. But oh, <laughs> I, I don't think so either. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Did you Opinion see her, changed. See her talking about how she fucked that guy in the movie theater. I'm listening. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, she was on Dr. Phil, and he's like, so they went to the movies with her mom and this guy, and then um, she goes into the men's bathroom, like wheels into there, goes into the handicap stall. He goes in. The mom thinks he's getting popcorn, and then they just fuck in the bathroom. So she was like, oh, I'm, I'm disabled, then gets out, fucks real, really quick, and then goes back into the chair and then fucking wheels out like, oh, no, I'm not disabled at all. What the hell? Whereas know. normally, that, I mean, there were no strangers to a girl having to go in the chair after we fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one i gotta fold out one in my place <laughs> just must not, might be needing this sorry it's a walk up <laughs> oh yeah the God guy got damn. 25 years i oh, told you the guy's shit. doing time yeah doing time. time that yeah. would be so but he did the stabbing yeah so yeah he he was the one who went through with it yeah but you are right though it's a it, it's sort of and i was honestly thinking this just uh, the other day about life it's like there's so many people that just like play the life the game that is supposed to be played like mm-hmm. even the people that were like went to school went, and then did this it was like it doesn't work out because you don't really have a competitive advantage you're just in the game doing the thing yeah you need to like find some competitive advantage one way even if that was like okay i went to this because uh, i have know someone really in that industry some competitive advantage yes whereas this guy was looking outside the box being mm-hmm. like yeah he was looking for box outside the box <laughs> i mean also if you see this guy you're probably like yeah he just couldn't meet someone who was not incarcerated probably like that was it was his competitive advantage he goes someone's gonna want to write back to yeah. Me. yeah 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 how many letters did he send out that's a good probably question. a lot yeah he was probably fucking this doing- guy's hands numb <laughs> <laughs> he might have been photocopying yeah him. let's just let's just hope some girl in jail is not like yeah, he's been messaging yeah. me too, kind of thing. Yo, and she, and she dude, there's a second murder. She'll be involved that'll be in. a story for sure. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> dude, men ain't shit. That'll be the ultimate men ain't shit. The girls will be all over this guy, <laughs> ripping him to shreds. No scrub. Uh. I'm gonna do a quick question because uh, I asked the Patreon um, if they had anything before. We'll do the we'll go through these like Reddit threads, the OnlyFans oh, advice and love stuff. It, love it. But this is a real thing that I thought it was a good question because people had a lot of them. I said, curious how you guys know when it's time to start a new phase, i.e., like quitting music, leaving Canada, uh, Danny getting engaged. It's one thing if your life sucks and you know it's time to make a change, but what about when everything's going pretty good? That's a pretty Ooh, good question. That right? is a good question. Chris Williamson always used to talk about. I, I, I mean, we kind of, I had something that he posted and he had said something too because he was sort of saying that there's a theory when a lot of times people don't move, um, they don't get out of a, a bad situation because it's not bad enough. Yeah. And he's like, you know, mm-hmm. like a relationship or a job, you go, if it was actually worse, you'd be more likely yeah, to leave. Sure. Rock yeah, bottom. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, nice. yeah, but you haven't hit rock bottom. He's like, it's just okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of people don't progress because everything's just okay. But then I was also, there's that phrase that I was t- telling him that the, what's the best person to be on the ladder it's like the one that's still climbing yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i just heard that one he did that was great yeah yeah no it was real good i think for i don't know for me it was always like i always knew where i wanted to go so i like but when i started stand up i knew i wanted to go to new york and i had to go to toronto first to like make it over there they were stepping stones yeah so i always kind of had the vision of where it was going and then the baseline was just like get funnier like all that would that is a constant that never changes and then all these other things like making tiktoks doing stuff on youtube all that stuff came in as a goal of getting funnier and getting better at comedy and then these opportunities to move were just presented to to, like they start presenting themselves and that's when you know to make the change so you're, you're you're saying in your scenario you'd probably describe that as like you have a high north star yeah that sort of guides everything else yeah, in between. You have like a higher Every, goal everything else falls into place there is no finish exactly there's no finish no line finish. and also when if you're like apprehensive because there was like moments where i was like i could stay in toronto when i first started i was like i could stay in mexico that's where i started doing stand-up and i was like i could stay there and grow a scene here or do that but it's like are you doing that out of complacency or fear and if that's the motivator you're like oh i'm too scared to make this move or i'm too comfortable then you always make the other move oh man i mean the comfort thing for comedy is like you see that for a lot of people in canada or whatever where they're like they're like they just get just enough stuff which is in the grand scheme of things like nothing yeah 
But, but get, then, yeah, but he said, like, this guy even said, though, like, what about when things going pretty good? Like, you know, a lot of times people will leave things when it's doing good. And I think the answer to that is when you don't feel like you're progressing anymore. Yeah, 100%. Like, you know, because everything has a certain, and then there's at some point it really levels out. Yeah. And it's like, when do you not feel like you're progressing, like, at a human and in life or in anything? And if you feel yourself starting to get frustrated with very simple things, like, what I noticed, I noticed this actually when I was scuba diving because there was a very clear hierarchy of moving up. You basically had to pay for a new course to get to the next level to do like teach higher level students and people who stayed at the open water level like the beginner teaching beginner divers they were so frustrated with the simplest things like they're kicking the reef they can't do buoyancy or whatever the fuck and that's because you have the same problem every day for like two years it's no longer an interesting challenge now it's yeah. just frustrating mm -hmm. you need to keep bringing new challenges into your sphere to keep your career and your life interesting and challenging in a fun way that's like that's a very important part I think that's a pretty good yeah. No. Yeah. I always kind of I think if I, I was to like my version of what you were saying would be like it's where is there like still energy yeah you know what I mean because energy is sort of like contagious so when you have energy like you can feel it even w like there's probably certain people you even hang around with like that maybe was like I don't have this that much but like old like some people would describe like old friends in the old town when you go and you're not even like really pumped about it you're just kind of like oh just going through the motions or whatever so because there's no like energy there yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah. pumped up so maybe like when you feel like you're going through the motions yeah absolutely if you're if that's if that's all you're doing that's not the place you want to be that complacency that frustration it's a it's a horrible it just it, you get draining then you'll that's like, what you're doing though but yeah like what's the context of this question just in general uh maybe they're asking in terms of their own life but then yeah. i don't have the specifics oh, okay mm -hmm. but yeah because i think you're sometimes uh you when i mean seinfeld said uh some version of like that with like oh because he was the for the biggest guy that was like i'll never get married i'm why he goes why why would you do that yeah and then uh i think like you know at like 40 or something like that he just like got married and people were like you were the main guy and he was like yeah i just kind of felt like i was just doing the same thing over and over again yeah bored. And like event, yeah yeah it's i boring. think he just kept sort of yeah it just feels like uh groundhog day a Ca little bit cabin fever of life you're it's time it's time you're like yeah. Yeah. yeah you have to listen to maybe your like internal clock you know yeah. yeah like you guys probably felt it in toronto where it's like oh any one of these rooms i go in i can can get up almost any time I want the crowds I know how to like work these crowds yeah. there's like also the money isn't changing or going no, anywhere just doing uh, the, it's like on a tread uh, fucking hit a ceiling wheel. yeah They're just like doing the same thing over and over and again. just by moving to New York and you also know you see it like if you're say whatever you're, you're a finance guy or you're a tech guy you're working for a company and you move up to a certain point and it's kind of like you're a smaller tech company that does whatever like deliveries or some shit like that you see oh I could work for Google I could work for them but do do I take the move? I don't know. It's like, yeah, go take yeah. that move. Take that fucking next step and move in that direction. Or if you get high up in Google, it's like, I want to start my own company that does this. I have this idea that they don't want to do. Make those moves that you see in your head. It's that fucking book, The the Alchemist. It's like you see the omens. You see these... these. What does it describe? I've never read The Alchemist, actually. I heard of The Alchemist. is amazing. What's it's, the omens? So it's basically life presents you omens, like opportunities to do things. Like it, like now it presents JJ. Omen. Omen. <laughs> <laughs> Man. But it, it, life will present you opportunities. It'll be like, oh, you have an opportunity to talk to this person or meet this person or start this company or make this money or move to New York or whatever it is. And then if you don't acknowledge the omens and do something with them, eventually they just disappear. Yeah, and then you don't true. have those opportunities yeah. again. So when you see those things, you go, oh, I want to do that. And you and you don't take it, like I said, out of fear, then that is the worst decision making. But also, I think there's something to be said about what you, when you, if you look at life like that, you go, the the opportunities don't come that often, and it's up to you to take them. You go, well, then it's just, it's like there is no decision paralysis because you're like, it's already made. Well, mm -hmm. it's like, I only get this, I only get the opportunities every now and then, so when things come and like there's a light bulb moment, you have to move. Oh yeah, move. And then oh. it sort of isn't a, what I, won't I, because you're just like, of course I do. Yeah, well, I think we're, we're all in a very similar space where we, we've found the direction we want to move in so like i said before having that north star that you're building towards all these other things just fucking fit but he's right place. i've had yeah. that north star before and i've changed but yeah, yeah, again yeah. it was like yeah felt uh it was like you could feel the energy was over and that mo the moment was over yeah like you want to be a, you want to be like in a moment or moving towards a moment yeah not in the other side of those moments yeah yeah exactly you know. we were telling you about song finch at the boys cast which i have now used to make a love song about danny that All will right. be debuted <laughs> Has, sure. it's honestly song finch is pretty solid All right. so maybe you got that special someone that uh you know and you want to tell them what they mean to you 
funny and cool gift. Chicks love this kind Chicks of stuff. Love Chicks love this kind of stuff. Everybody goes, every guy goes, hey, here's, I got, I have some money and I exchanged it for some flowers. That's for chumps. What you do Easy is you route. take your money and you get someone to make a customized, personalized song. Chicks exactly. Love it. It's got a quirky element to it. That's why. And also, saying I love you, something like that, that mm-hmm. you might want to do. Sure. It doesn't, you know, might not want to. You know what I mean? No. It's not something you, you leave it to some other people to say it on your behalf. Easy for some, maybe. Nerve wracking for others. Perfect gift can do it for you, especially when the gift is a one of a kind, uniquely crafted song for them. Valentine's Day is coming up. Can't think of an easier and better way to do it. Flowers just aren't cutting it, as Danny said. Forget the teddy bear chocolates and perfume. Stand away from the pack with Songfinch. You can gift a memory they'll never forget. Songfinch is also the only original music platform that guarantees you'll love your song or they'll work with you until you do. They'll stand behind the community of talented artists, every original song they create. Over 300,000 of them so far. Wow. So this thing's popping off. It's not their first rodeo. Valentine's Day, put your heart on the line with a studio quality song, totally unique to your relationship. Only takes four to seven days. And the song will last forever. For a limited time, Songfinch is letting the listeners of the Boys cast upload their song on Spotify for free. So it can be already there. You can show it to them. Listen Very to your cool. favorite song right there. They can take that song and they have it on Spotify. Go to songfinch.com slash boyscast to start your song. After the purchase, you'll be prompted to add Spotify streaming to your original song for free. And that's a $50 value. This offer is available to our listeners at Songfinch dot com slash boys cast that is songfinch dot com slash boys cast don't wait get started now cold turkey might be great on sandwiches but there's a better way to break your bad habits there's a, uh, some bad habits that people might have mm-hmm. and this might be better time than ever to start getting rid of them right folks yep. however not all habits are bad so why not just replace the bad with good in your habit Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, you just get rid of the bad. And you know what we're talking about here, a certain habit that we might not be able to talk about, but you might not want to be doing it anymore. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. So you guys get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy, makes replacing bad habits easy. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. I personally use it a lot while I'm editing. I always have the keyboard on my left leg and I got the fume in my right hand. Mm -hmm. That's my editing style. Tastes great, feels cool, looks awesome, very beautiful, real wood. Feel cool using it. We know a lot of people that are on the fume. You got to try out the new Solano. It's made with premium walnut barrel and an onyx-coated mouthpiece that has a slightly softer finish. So a lot of people will come and try to knock on it. They go, is that that oak right there? Is that oak? No. (laughs) No, you go, yeah, it's a walnut. That's actually, is this walnut right here? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right now is the best time to start a good habit with fume, and all orders between January 1st to the 14th have buy one, get one cores. So the cores are the thing you put in it. You can stock up for that New Year's resolution. Plus, as a listener of the show, you get an extra 10% off when you use our code. Head to tryfume.com slash boyscast and use the code boyscast for an additional 10% off. Plus, the BOGO, which is buy one, get one cores until January 14th to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Start the good habit at tryfume.com slash boyscast to save 10% off the journey pack today. There's uh, two different. There's three different Reddits that we've we've gone through uh, the OnlyFans, which is the patriarchy, the Tulpas, and all this. But the OnlyFans one, we went through like a really deep dive, and it's. I guess it's different now because essentially it's just got so saturated. Yeah. So I think there was a moment where you could kind of, if you were like the first certain people in, like you could kind of make a thousand bucks a month, like without trying that hard. Yeah. And now it's like. Corporate. There's so many people. There's like systems. All the big there's managers. Man- there's managers. Yeah. So it's now. really like a thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So and then there's these people now that are like just getting into this game really late with these like crazy questions. Yeah. So okay. So the first one, 
Uh, does anyone make content while living with their family? I've been making content for three years in my own apartment, but moved in with my mom to save money to take care and take care of her. I live downstairs with no door. I have no privacy, and it's so frustrated. I bought two sound machines, but they aren't loud enough. And who do, who wants to make a video with the sound machines in the background? Also, I've been in the middle of recording a video, and my mother coughs because she has emphysema. And <laughs> You're like, I'm coming. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I gotta do the noise machine up. Oh, fuck. That's a, oh, yeah. This is a sad story she's painting. Oh, yeah, dude, my it's like God. Like massive squirt video capped with a. <laughs> oh, like, ah, oh, God, yeah. now I gotta rehydrate, shoot again, clean the set. Oh, and, uh, and also the, right. the noise machines. Yeah. Obviously, the mom knows. When the noise machines pop on, what's yeah. going on, too? It's my daughter hard at work. But salute to this chick for, like, fucking being like, you know what? I'm going to sell this pussy to take care of my mom. There's nothing. I'll, that's, like, the, uh, maybe one of the saddest things. And that does. Is the struggling OnlyFans. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone Are else? you considered maybe doing some sort of thing, like, maybe, like, a altruistic project where you go find, like, just the crappiest OnlyFans creator and then somehow, like, bring uh, them up? Like, kind of like one of those, like, remember, like, the shows where they like, remodel? Model a poor person's house, <laughs> you know, and then they have the bus, and then the bus, like, and then they're all kitchen, but, kitchen you know, confidential, like whatever, like something like that, where you're <laughs> like, oh, I've got like, ten thousand like, dollars and one pig, yeah, yeah, like like <laughs> whore, like whore confidential, because you could, you see, oh my god, that's do that, so Jay. funny, that like there's very few people, idea. such a brilliant <laughs> idea. One <laughs> of the time you it's, do, oh, this is well, great though, well, yeah, like you, you know, you find someone who's like, you know, they're the top one percent, yeah, yeah. You yeah. find the bottom one. Well, the bottom, bottom yeah. one percent. But there's probably some talent down there. Oh, there, there for They're sure just, is. They need a shot. They need. They need. I like uh, Remodeling. They need a like. What's your niche? What? How do we repurpose this? How do we sell your personality? But also, you can just you have an audience where you and you then can you just. I can just. I can. I can blow them up. And yeah. you bring in. And this is how. This is great, dude. Yeah. And. <laughs> 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 the show. <laughs> JJ loves having a show. Oh, I, love, I love this. But then you get like guest appearances from top OnlyFan models. Yeah. You bring them in as fucking coaches. Yeah, yeah. you bring yeah, them like in. Next top whore. Yes. <laughs> you literally go. And today in the music stump and where yeah. everyone starts looking behind the door. And today we have fucking <laughs> yeah. Angela Amaranth. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Everyone's like, this yeah. is a great idea. She yeah. Amaranth made 57 million dollars from OnlyFans? Yo. She posted it today. What's she doing? Selling spit and shit? I don't right. know. She posted it today. Though. She's like one million. of the top. She's like She's the top, top, top titty point, person point on Twitch. Percent. I really? like it more, JB, in the Gordon Ramsay where you walk yeah. in yes. and you look you go, what the fuck is <laughs> this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you call that squirt? You go, yeah. <laughs> grab the dildo, you, you smell you're, it? You're disgusting. Trying, you're you don't trying, clean these. <laughs> you're trying to jerk off. You go, what the fuck? I'm fucking soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these titties, they're uneven. <laughs> right, man. I'm excited. <laughs> that is actually a fucking incredible. Is there a way idea. to find the bottom one percent oh, of OnlyFans creators? Oh yeah, you might be able to search. JJ, by you that. do a gay one, also called the bottom one percent. <laughs> <laughs> Just fat, hairy, unshaven, stinky. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I went on Grinder a couple days ago, and this troll fucking DM like he pinged me, and I'm like, in what fucking world, fatty? <laughs> oh, you actually like you take it personal? Yeah, that you got a DM from this guy. Oh my god, what do you send you? Just the asshole. No, he just uh, sent me a message. Because you can, like, uh, tap. You tap that kn knows someone's interested in, interested in you, and then they send you a phone. I don't think JJ's bone to do in a long time. I think you're more of a window shopper now. Yeah, I'm a window shopper right yeah, now. You All you do is go on Grinder and guys message you. You go, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. you just try to <laughs> see where you're at. You go on Grinder just to see where you're at see still. Where I'm at. <laughs> Dude, what's my ranking in the gay community? Yeah. Am I dropping? I'm Am I still good? I go on there. I do a little makeover right before I put some mascara in my hair to push it up. <laughs> do the picture. Mascara? You're just painting the top of your head at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Ron Popeil just like <laughs> <laughs> like one of the plastic thing, you know, you <laughs> Alright, let's see where I'm at. <laughs> LeBron does 
does the same thing, bro. He gave up. He's actually yeah. giving up. Oh, oh yeah. Did you see? He got the Steve Harvey flat top. He was brushing his head. Yeah. He had like he's like completely bald, and he has a brush, and he's doing an interview, and he's like vigorously brushing his head, and people are like, "What the fuck are you doing, dude? There's nothing." But is this like moving the soil so the crops? Look Surprised real? he won't go do like the hair transplants. Isn't yeah, it? they're such good ones. I think he kept doing it. And it wouldn't it take. Won't take. My theory on that is that they just don't. They can't do black hair. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think. They, oh, you're yeah. right. I, just, I wonder about that because it is a different. Like, it's a different type of hair. I just don't think. But they, they can. take it off your head but i just don't i don't know if like the curliness because be, it's you know, stronger hair it needs more like maybe follicles yeah, are harder cor- to get in i don't know Could i don't be. know it's just bl- black people haven't been able to pull off the hair transplant See, i think yeah. okay white privilege <laughs> that, by the way that may be true I don't think I have any information on that, but it also could just be that black guys don't bother because it's like totally reasonable to be, to bald. be bald. Yeah, yeah. you look great. Be, Every black good, guy, bald. I haven't seen a guy who looks terrible that's bald and black. No. I have, but it only lasts for a, a half a year and then they cut it. Yeah, yeah. And no, but I'm no, saying shit. when the like girls call like them Bick. dusty and then they pick no, no, it. Bick. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm saying Bick looks good. On Bick looks oh. great on a black guy. It yeah. looks. I haven't seen a man like honestly. Yeah. What's Bic? Like, like shaped, like totally shaped, shaped to the bone. Oh, okay, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. even like a fat black guy looks fine. Where a, flat, a fat white guy just they're really look sick. Dis- Every yeah. other race doesn't look that great. No, as, as good. Well, actually, anyway. only the race where you don't look sick. Like a fat <laughs> fat white guy when they have the hot dogs, the six pack oh, of hot yeah. dogs on the back of the neck, <laughs> the Sharpay <laughs> neck. Yes, the Sharpay <laughs> neck's disgusting. But a black guy looks like oh yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, no, it looks as you're like this is a power. Powerful man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Powerful man. Yes, powerful man. It's like, what do you bench? Yeah, how are you repping that? Okay, yeah. so this girl, the advice, yeah, definitely I like the idea of the smoke machine. Obviously, the real actual answer is p- music. Yeah, <laughs> turn on some music. I think <laughs> Suffocating, <laughs> no breathing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. It's just some system in the background. Yeah, we'll get a little system of a down going or something. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> there was that one thing I forgot I was going to mention. This because you know Kanye West is posting all the new photos of his uh, yeah, his yeah. girl Nikki, which is hilarious because he was just like he went from being like Kim Kardashian, I don't respect what she's doing, and then like he's I'm the church guy and everything now. He's just like here's my wife naked, my new wife naked who looks like her. Yeah, but the system of the down guy commented on it. Uh, what was it? System of the Down guy. Um, the I think it's the bass player in System of the Down wrote on Kanye West's wall. Show some class, man. You have kids who look up to you for moral guidance. Is this supposed to be the person to pr- you protect the most? Your wife isn't supposed to be your trophy. She's pride and dignity. This isn't it. Blah, blah, blah. This is uh, find the System the bald of the Down white guy. guy? Yeah. No, I wish it was the bald white the guy. The one wall. with the hair? Not the one. He's the one that wears The bald hockey. white guy. No. If he was commenting on Kanye he West, has- he would have just said, Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> not sure. Grab her tits and put on some makeup. <laughs> not sure. Uh, not uh, sure. What's his name? Not the main guy. No, 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 no. this is like the drummer. Tank of the or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I love those guys. Dude, I just found them this year. <laughs> you just found. I've DM'd you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I haven't made a new song in like fifteen I know, years. <laughs> I literally heard the fucking. It was last year. Lex Friedman talk to Rick Rubin about him. Yeah, I never heard these guys. That is a crazy thing when he said just pull a book off the shelf and like look and yes. look for a line. Yeah, yeah. and it was yeah. like uh, what was that? It, in System of a Down, Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin was like, they couldn't figure out a line for their song. And he's like, just grab a book and pull it off. And yeah, then I open. remember that. I saw that video. Yeah. yeah. And the, the line, I can't remember what the fuck it is, but something it's like, about uh, priest or God or something. Yeah. And it's like an incredible line. Uh, in that nah, fucking nah, song. Nah, yeah. I yeah, can't yeah, remember yeah, that. I remember yeah. that. So, what's that? Forsaken me. God, uh, yeah. you forsaken me. Yeah. You know that what? Line. I know that JJ really liked Rick Rubin. And Rick Rubin Love had Rick Rubin. A, a good one recently that I thought really related to comedy because stuff that we talk about a lot. Because he was basically saying that. Art uh, isn't supposed to be for other people. It's kind of like a journal entry. As soon as you start, because he was like, you making you're making it for yourself, not for other people. Yeah. And he goes, when you start making it for other people, that's not art. That's commerce. Oh, and I was like, yeah. that's such a good. Yeah. It's so many things because I've always sort of said it's more the my description of it was more you can't worship two gods. Yeah. Like a lot of people that try to make art, that try to make some point, but they're also trying to make art. It's like you can't do two things at once. You can't worship two gods, yeah, right? Yeah. But I thought that was another a good way to put because I used to say maybe it's propaganda. When you're doing the other thing, but yeah. I think commerce is a better way to yeah, say. Yeah, you're trying to make money. That, yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. Mm. when you're trying to you're, when you're writing the jokes that you think other people will like. That's not art. That's commerce. Yeah, yeah, and that's how Joe Joe Coy just got fucked up, fucked uh, over because he yeah, made, last he, week. Yeah, 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 yeah because I mean, that was, yeah, that was commerce. That's that was, commerce, yeah. and it's like well, it you, and I lo- I love him, and I'm like you just took on a fluff gig. 
yeah. to make money, and that's what. You know what? I'm gonna go a I little different than that. that bad. I thought he wasn't I didn't that, think bad. It was that bad. He's just the it. truth is with those stupid fucking Hollywood actors. Taylor the Swift. only thing that works now is to just to go and like tell them they suck. Yeah. yeah. Like and and if you bomb, people will be like, oh yeah, but he he's would bomb because he's, he's trashing them. Guy. He's yeah. not that exactly. He's not, he's not like but that. that's why they hired him because they didn't want that guy. It was literally you're doing a corporate and then you're trying to be nice and then they not working. Like if he had just fucking said fuck you to all them and then people would be like. Yeah, he bombed making fun of them because he's the man, no, yeah. but he's not that yeah. guy. What he so sh- he was in a rock and hard place. No, what he should have done is crowd work. Should have been like, so what do you do? And you're like, I'm Steven <laughs> I'm <an> Spielberg. <laughs> you're like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, yeah. like, so what do you do? I'm a director. That's crazy. Yeah, anything I see. That's seen. crazy, Joe. <laughs> Isn't there a story with him that he found his wife? How long you'd been together? How long you've been together, Selena Gomez? And, uh, <laughs> but there was a story like he, he found his wife cheating on. Wasn't that he walked in and the Joe Coy? I thought his first wife. I thought that was him. Hit that. I don't know the Joe Coy lore that hard. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> he was in a rock and hard place. I don't put that on him. And I think no. they gave him the gig on like December twenty first or something. Yeah. I don't like, know about everybody's like, what? That's not enough. That's I mean to write For a, a six minute. You hire, monologue? yeah, you hire your ten funniest friends to write. Yeah, your that's the weird yeah. thing. He goes, he goes. I didn't get my writers until like five. I mean, like fuck my writers. I'm, I'm calling, calling my every friends. one of my buddies. Yeah. Yeah. My buddies. To be honest yeah. with you, fuck I've only done one roast, and I called. Two fucking savages. But I'm and saying we did you're like, two hours. I wouldn't be like, oh shit, I, uh, talk, clock's ticking. I wish they'll give me my writers, the Golden Globes. I'm like calling my friends immediately. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. And no, 10 days is more than enough. Oh, like he's reading off of, I don't know if he's reading off a teleprompter, but. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Okay. No. Still. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, I think he, he was getting more flat than he deserved. In my yeah, yeah, yeah. And then everybody's like, he's bombing. You're like, he was doing fine. No, the only like, reason I knew. It's the Taylor Swift thing. Is the moment that they cut to her and then she's just like, like yeah, and then no. they go, oh, he's bombing. Like it's literally like the king thing. Like you yeah. go, like everybody yeah. is like the jester, and then everybody looks to see if the the king yeah. and the king's not enjoying themselves. And everybody's like, sucks. sucks yeah, it was dude. the boss at the corp, the boss at yeah. the workplace corp. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then everybody looked at her, and she's not enjoying. It. Oh, he's bombing, and dude. Like, he right. wasn't bombing. You yeah, know, I listened to it. It wasn't terrible. No, you no. know that all time famous jester Ronald the Farter. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's like Ronald the Farter. <laughs> Ronald the Farter is like the most famous jester ever. Oh, yeah, he, fantastic! He like he would like come to the king and he would like fart and the king loved it. He oh, gave like what yeah. king? Uh, I don't know which well, king. It was like a, it was like in the like, 1500s and the yeah. king like bought him a fucking like castle. Yeah, castle acres of fi- land and he even like retired. Fart mansion and then he like I need you to come out of retirement fart for me again. Like he like came back and like all right guys how so, like how's this not year, a we're movie? Back Ronald <laughs> and he's like, they're like ah. Like, there was a it's funny. He can go on command. I think so. I think he could fart on command, man. Wow. Back then, that would have ripped. There was, dude, dude. There was a fucking nobody so was farting yeah. then. No. It's, it's so funny actually because I literally was listening to an interview yesterday, and uh, they were talking about this dude. Um, his name was Lepetto Main, mm-hmm. and he was a French flatulist. Oh, really? And he was like, <laughs> they yeah. Were calling that. His name yeah. is Joseph Puyol, better known by his name. Stop. I swear to God, Joseph Puyol, French flatulist. He died. Stop. In 1945, and he's because I was watching um, the David Cross podcast with Mark Maron, and they were talking about because they used to have on Mr. Show this bit called Gary the Farter, and it was based off of like they it was a Mr. Show bit, but it was based off of this guy, and he would just like fart or whatever, like that was all his punchlines. He would just be like, and he could, <coughs> I guess like suck Aaron in his ass and let in his it rip. ass, and then he just, so he constantly and his like punchlines were just like, <laughs> and then you were like, yeah, <laughs> but this is like in like you know the late 1800s. Yeah, they don't got the end. In yeah, France, because yeah. they try to make France out to be like they're all like high culture and <laughs> stuff, but they're just like watching this guy rip ass and laughing. Dude, <laughs> they like mimes, man. Yeah, a mime yeah. is like a pie in my face, and they're like excellent, excellent. French people do, get, yeah, they do have more of a, a highfalutin. Everybody reputation thinks they that. deserve, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, just because they talk stupid. Dude, one time I was in an argument with this French guy. We're just like discussing whatever, and then I'm getting <laughs> the edge on him, and he goes, "Oh, what do you know? Your country's like 400 years old." And I was like, "What the fuck does that have to do with any?" Anything, dude. That was his argument. Like, I'm from an older, like, monarchy. You, I know more than you. Like, Shut the fuck up, dude, dude. This is, by the way, this is the description of Lepetto Main right here. Little farts warmed up the crowd. Lepetto Main. <laughs> He's the big no, He goes, he goes, listen. He goes, Lepetto Main, Lepetto Main named the toots as he went, doing such impressions as a bride on her wedding night, a very little 
real fart. A lengthy 10-second fart replicated the sound of a dressmaker tearing two yards of calico. Then, with all his might, he blasted one in the form of a cannon firing. So he's just like, I wonder what this would sound like if this was a fart. He's like, a bride on her wedding night. <laughs> You're probably doing half hour at least. A half Dude. hour of farts. I love to think, think too so. that that they were like people come back and they see him again and they're like they're like oh he's gonna do the cannon and they're like shh and they're like Burr. they're like ah. Amazing. Someone steps on his punchline, farts in the crowd. Oh shit! <laughs> a huge move. Dude. There's a video of him from 1900 farting. Oh wow. Can, can, can people see it? It's on YouTube. Yeah, Lepetto Main farting on film in 1900. Uh, the Ron- <laughs> Ronald the farter is like Ronald the equivalent the to. All right, like, play one little bit of this. I don't, <laughs> Give me a little fart. Oh, yeah. they, could they record back then? Like, like yeah. audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to. Well, okay, uh, shh. And we'll send this to Johnny and put it on the screen. I don't. There's no audio. Oh. I don't even think there's audio. Well, that's crazy. crazy. Uh, <laughs> kind of loose. Well, it's 1900. <laughs> but yeah. it's just so fucking crazy watching this special of the farter with no, <laughs> no audio. audio. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> just do see. <laughs> They kind of do see him. He looks like a magician with his hands. All right, we'll put that on the screen. But That's so funny. For the, for the well, audio the, listeners, uh, you're not missing much. <laughs> the, there's the silent but he movie does, cutaway. He, yeah, well, he does kind of like, he goes, he bends over, and then he's kind of just like a... But his, his thing mm-hmm. doesn't, uh, the suit, the tux. Yeah, that would be uh, a lot. That'd yeah, be yeah. wild. That would be That's incredible. Insane. You need to hire a guy to like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that, like your magician's <laughs> assistant. Yeah. <laughs> they just send some wind. Could well, you? actually, leading into our next one, this is pretty topical. We could say, I'm having a hard time knowing what kind of vibe I should do. So they haven't been doing that good on OnlyFans. Mm. I've heard people making money from stepping on things, but that sounds uh, so not real, is it? It is I, real. I absolutely don't want to do anything schoolgirl, though. Otherwise, I'm pretty open to niche groups. And what I'm saying is it's pretty obvious that farting could be a niche. Dude, crush, oh, yeah. crush. Yeah, farting could be like, crush, right, yeah. crush models. Because our boy uh, Kevin Soldo, when he remember he moved to New York like <laughs> ten years this. ago, yeah, he moved to New York ten years ago for like a year, and he was dating a girl who was a crush model, and she just step on shit, she would, like step disgusting. on toys, and then there's ones where they step on like little crawfish that are like alive. Oh. And they're big girls, right? dude. They're big yeah. girls, and they just squish bugs with their feet. And they, but they were like live crawfish, and Ew. then they were just, and then there's like dudes, I guess, in Asia jacking off to that stuff. Oh just, yeah, <laughs> in Asia, <laughs> Asia, that's the market. That's <laughs> right up. Dude, that's yeah. The, the 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 all the different niches. I think farting definitely. You, you, you should get into that if you can. That fart in the jar. <laughs> yeah, like that's like it's like I'm, uh, how I'm, gross you want to go. Yeah, it's like, uh, but on OnlyFans, there's certain shit you can't do. Like you can't do the you know the whole is piss squirt or squirt piss blah 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 thing. You can't yeah. piss, but you can squirt. You can squirt, but you can't piss. <laughs> So, yeah, no titty milk either now. So you can't admit, yeah, no titty milk, no shitting, of course. That's why Fansley is taking off. Oh, is that quite who's Fansley's you? the shitting one? The bad, the bad boy only fan? <laughs> Maybe. Fansley's the one that allows it's, shitting? It allows Good titty milk. Them. Wow, but why? A, why not? That's so funny. It. Funny, it's that, like excrement or whatever. That's like hilarious. That being an OnlyFans chick and being like, "Hey, I'm trying to start. Like, should I step on stuff?" Uh, or, yeah, what, yeah. What, <laughs> what, what? What should I do? I read down that a little bit, and someone was like, "Niches don't matter. Just start like putting the titties out there." And <laughs> someone will make a request for something weird, and then that's your niche. Oh, <laughs> oh the niche it comes find, to you. Yeah, yeah the yeah. niche yeah. finds you. Dude, Chicken yeah. or the egg? Because at the end of the day, this is commerce. So you you uh, appeal to the audience. That's uh, true. Yeah, this yeah, is you're right. Art. This, this is, is not art. I mean, just get a job <laughs> at fucking Subway. No, if you're... sell the tits, dude. Fuck that shit. <laughs> what is more degrading? Fucking you should, you going to school and telling the girls this? Yeah. <laughs> Start an online class, like dude. hustlers only. <laughs> only how, fans. How to sell your titties? But yeah, you. What's like you, working at Subway and fucking making no money and getting treated like shit? There's. I know this one chick who started only fans. She's making like 15k a month. Before that, they too, always tell you the high. high High things though. Most yeah. people are this. They're. They, I made fifty dollars last month. Should I try stepping yeah. on live animals? <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people. Okay. How hot? Kind of, before anything, how hot is she's, she? She's hot. She's decent. That's the thing. Because none of these things go. What should I do? And nobody's like, go to the gym. Like yeah. you eat less and go to the gym. Dude, get Actually, that's like, quite the opposite. The one girl is saying she lost weight and it's costing her money. Really? Yeah. Well, well, I guess if you're in that niche, right? Yeah. If you're big girl niche, dude, they want you to stay big. There's yeah. feeders out there. Feeders that yeah. they're like, please eat for me, my queen, or whatever. They'll like send you food and shit like that. And, and they'll they, Uber yeah. eat you. Yeah, they'll Uber eat you, or they'll like, or they'll give you like credit to go get food or something. Yeah. Those are the farters too. The SSBBWs. Yeah, is there like some? Ver- <laughs> is Who the 
fuck? Is there like some version that? of that? Like you know when you buy a, a, a like a bartender a drink and then they do like water shots because they're like we don't want to be drinking all night, but they don't want to seem like antisocial kind of thing. Is there like you get a, like a subway sub, but you like hollow it out? Like, Hol- it's just like yeah. the edges. Oh, so then you're just like eating mostly just like nothing in the middle, just so you can. Keep oh, going. there probably is. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some. There's fake feeders. Yeah, like the water. Well, they're like I can't just eat ten subs a night. Yeah, but these chicks are like four hundred pounds. Yeah, some of them are pretty big. Some of them, can eat. Some yeah. of them are <laughs> enjoying this. They're like sick, dude. Fetching Alfredo again? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, no, I think I think man, the one girl did say though that she was she <laughs> she was lost lost thirty pounds because she was too fat, and then she it's kind of like uh, acting in that way where it's like you got to be fat or. Or, or in shape, yeah. In be like, in be like a decent normal person with an extra thirty pounds is not the sweet spot. No, no. no, no you no. want to be fat or normal. But also, that's the thing. Some like, if you want this chick to be a big girl, it'd be like if you started like you you do. You guys have your your what type of comedy? What your podcast is branded as? If all of a sudden you're like, okay, guys, we're doing fucking rainbow flags and all that Just kind of talking shit. Talking about it'd Stanley like, Cops, dude. It would be fucking. <laughs> it'd be done. You have every market has what they want, and if you're in the big girl market. Market, you got to stay there, dude. You got to like. Well, that, but that, but that's why with everything, it's like you don't want your niche to be something that's killing you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like probably yeah. You better off being a comedian than a sword swallower. Yeah. Well, no, you sent me that the clip when we were in Bridgeport about all the fatties that died. Oh yeah. This the, was crazy. The plus size influencers that are all like, I can't believe I just said plus size. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your no. podcast with Taylor Lorenz. Holy shit! I forgot Jay did the Taylor. Lorenz. Lorenz podcast. I didn't know who she was. Oh, you did? Taylor Lorenz? I didn't they know. They were chumming it up. Where was this? I didn't old, know who old she Zero was. COVID Taylor over oh, here. Taylor Lorenz. She had his mask on out of respect on Zoom. No, I did not. I did not. I did not know who she was, man. That was the best uh, thing ever. Jay just posts his podcast. I'm doing this podcast or whatever, and then it's like, Taylor Lorenz? I did, dude. It she was, was the guest. You're not doing it. It was the guest. It, she, my co host was like, I love this person. I was yeah, like, cool. you didn't bug it. I, never, I had no idea who yeah, she yeah. was. And then everyone was like, yo, this is <laughs> And I was like, uh oh. Taylor Lorenz is a cunt. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's dude. a big dude, all she, But anyways, what was yeah. happening with your plus size girls? <laughs> back, yeah, back, to, back to the dead plus sizes. <laughs> So this chick made a, a, a like basically a super cut of like. Oh, this. I saw that. Yeah, she was like oh. Blair White. It was it Blair White with the fake lips and all that shit. The trans. Yeah, and no, the penis? she trans. No, she's not trans. I yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. she. I mean, if you smack it, <laughs> I. You Jay, her? I got bad news for you, pal. All those spank sessions that you were doing. <laughs> no, no. What are you talking? About? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Blair White, Blair White, the woman <laughs> with the huge cans and the big fake lips. <laughs> no, no, say it ain't so. Say it ain't, say so. It ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so, dude. <laughs> Bro. Oh, <laughs> Bro. Oh, no, I've had some of my top cranks to her. That's not possible. Like, oh, man. The cranks were so good that I didn't even see her naked. Uh, Come dude, on. No. I'm just going to keep one for safekeeping. <laughs> one little peek in there. A little Blair White on the side never hurt anyone. <laughs> oh. Dude. Oh, man. In that one, the one fucking uh, uh, article with the the vegans saying that they, they were like, oh, if you do a vegan diet, you get hornier. Oh, yeah. There was yeah. an article that said, you want me to read the headline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on. I'll read this headline here. Uh... Vegan diets make women hornier, hornier, allegedly, according to this new experiment where they just did a bunch, had, took a bunch of girls and then showed them stuff and measured their blood and all this oh. stuff. And it said girls that were vegan apparently had higher sex drive. And I was like, they said they had some sort of like thing that could test your genitals, like if they warm up okay. to see if you're getting <laughs> horny. And I was like, is that like a speed gun? Like you could just fire at someone's dick? Like you're watching UFC like with the, the heat boys? Sensors, probably. Yeah, and you just fucking shoot at their dick. You're horny. He's fucking horny. He likes dudes from on each other. <laughs> Fucking get him, boy. He's just kind of horny. That could be the new party trick for <laughs> yeah. the horny machine. Genius. <laughs> Bust Gator. in the door. Oh, dude, fully gay. This guy's gay. <laughs> we got him. That's oh. so funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, sorry, uh, go back to the. Uh, the also, you're, you're, you're about to have sex with your girl. You're just fingering her, keep, just, just checking the gun to see when she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's getting, it's like a steak. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're like literally just hitting it with the fucking temperature. <laughs> the, the, oh. the radar, the radar thermometer. Oh right man, right the laser oh. thermometer. But this, yeah, this this chick, she basically did a smash cut of these of these influencers who are like huge, being like. Um, being like, oh, come, come visit me on my um, my body positive uh, radio show, and she's like, she's dead. And then it would cut to another dude who's like, I'm eating all this food. And he's like, he's dead. And then mm-hmm. one this chick who's like, just because I'm fat doesn't mean my nutrition advice isn't good. It's like she's dead. Yeah. And it just like one there after the other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All they all died. Yeah, from being too fat. It's too bad. Yeah, yeah. don't. Yeah, you don't want to do that. No. <laughs> I always thought that with jackass, man. Like it, like they, there's because there's some people who go into that thing where like there's new versions of people doing jackass type shit where they're like whatever putting lemon in their eyes or some shit. And I'm like, you could start doing that, but then that's your shit, and you mm. have to like fucking shoot yourself in the balls with a paintball. Buddy, gun. I was in that world because I was in the doing crazy shit on camera and like that was all my shows that I made. Like that was yeah. my whole deal. I was like a you know making crazy videos in a band guy. That yeah. was my deal. And I always stayed away from the pain stuff because yeah. I just know that I'm not that guy. Pain, like spicy food challenges, all that spicy kind of shit. Food. Even like prank stuff. I'm like, man, you got to go out and like fucking set up cameras and secret shit and like fuck with people. And then someone beats the shit out of you. It's like, man, See, I don't See, that know. I never minded. I, that, that's my alley. You, you're like, you, oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah you like even of- like a cop beating you up, like all that stuff. It was like, I almost wanted that. Yeah. What I don't want is a shark, a, a fucking hook in my mouth, swimming Whoa. with sharks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That like the Steve-O shit was the fucking The bulls. Crazy. Like, I do not want the bulls. No, no dude. It's like. Johnny Knoxville. Still, still pissing in a bag. Yeah, and has had like eight concussions or oh, something like that. He still that. pisses in a bag, really? Yeah. I think he yeah. shits in a bag. Yeah, I, th- I yeah. heard he has a catheter. Oh, yeah. That sucks. It's fucking, it's Well, rough. even Steve-O, he Legend. can't talk. Like, he can barely talk. I don't yeah. think that's from the Bulls. Oh, that's from the <laughs> coke. That's from the coke? Yeah, <laughs> I think the Bulls got his voice. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking rogue kick hit him in the throat, and that's why he talks like that now. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, this girl... Uh, um, Okay, the, the, no, the re- reason I was bringing this into the niche one, this next one goes, I'm starting my first OnlyFans site uh, using my lazy pubic hair brush as my shtick. Any advice or recommendations for other hairy baddies? I'm not great at social media, but I'm willing to learn. So this girl's not making money, and she's just her whole deal. She just hears my brush with my pubes. Well, and no, she's just like, hasn't, yeah, she hasn't shaved because she hasn't shaved because it's winter. So she just wants to be lazy. She's like, yeah, I'm just gonna profit off of this. Well, yeah. she's well, she's just like, I want to start all the things, but that? I don't want to shave. So. Dude, dudes are into everything. Do you remember that really uh, yeah. shitty strip literally club? everything that really shitty strip club in Toronto, Fillmore's? Yeah, there's yeah. a couple of shitty ones. Fillmore's is They're like, like all shitty for some reason. Yeah, Toronto's got grimy like, ones, dingy ones. There was four different um, comics who were DJs at Fillmore's. Oh. And so I got some inside scoops. And dudes would come in and be like, I'll pay you to piss in my beer and I'll drink it. This one dude would pay uh. to lick a girl's boots. This other, this Chinese guy would come in and he would put on a finger condom and he would just want to touch them. You just touch them and touch them. you want to have the condom on? Yeah, he wouldn't touch them with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Fillmore's was that. Dumb. dumb, dude. Dumb, man. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. And they were doing a whole bunch of sex stuff there. I remember we went because it was one dude's last day working there. So a bunch of us went and uh, this one stripper was like, you want to dance? You want to dance? And I was like, yeah, we go upstairs. As soon as I sit down, she's like, I'll suck your dick for $150. I've had that too. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, ah, no, I just came here for a dance, man. We're just hanging <laughs> out, dude. Not trying to get my dick sucked. Oh, they she's they just proposition you really quick. Really quick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's want, she wants to try and make money off you instead of some old haggard troll. That, that's yeah. true. True when yeah. she sees a guy that's like sort of normal, yeah. but also she's like, "Yeah, I'll have this guy out of here in seven minutes." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Nah, she doesn't know who she's dealing with. Yeah, dude. maybe she doesn't. Whore. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm desensitized to porn. I'd be like, "You got to keep sucking with this 150 <laughs> bucks, dude. It ain't finished yet." <laughs> Joke on you. I can't come. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Am I doing it wrong?" It's like, unless you can grow a dick, we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> Here, let me just tape this picture to the top of your head. Really <laughs> Put the VR headset on. <laughs> All right, now you're getting it. Holy fuck. <laughs> the one girl says, 
So I had a fan ask for a mean dick rating, but his dick was actually pretty normal. <laughs> I saw that one. Uh, that she goes uh, in the comments that people were giving her advice on how to give a meaner dick rating. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's a crazy one to want the mean dick rating. They, I actually see that JJ maybe wanted something like. No, that. No, I'm not into that kind of. They love it. They love it. They love to get like. Well, I don't. I guess if I've you, never, who wants that? I guess if you have a really tiny dick, you're just the. You, you're like this is my Lean long life. It? Yeah, you're like might as well just embrace <laughs> is, it. Is there yeah. any girl who's like the best dick rater? Like mm. she's considered like because that seems like maybe possibly there was a bar there was a bartender who had an OnlyFans. Uh, she worked at one of the clubs we perform at, and I went to her OnlyFans, and she, what that she was always like, uh, send me ten dollars and I'll give you a dick rating. But it wasn't like <laughs> ten bucks. Yeah, for a dick rating, that's bad. that's pretty cheap. Yeah. I think. Yeah, but it wasn't negative or anything. No, I mean, it's worth zero to me. I don't need a dick rating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you make it fucking pay me five bucks for it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was on her. Met. She had a bunch of menu options, and then the dick rating for dick $10. rating is one of them. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's like if you are an OnlyFans girl, why wouldn't you be doing dick rating? It seems so easy. So like that's it's the, the easiest job. Yeah, and you just fucking riff on a dude's dick, dude. Yeah, yeah. quick. Yeah, quick. Uh, you think you get so Chappie GPT to no your because. Dick <laughs> uh -huh. Chat GPT do this dick. Yeah, rating for this me. guy has like a regular dick. <laughs> so like, I need to rate it. You know what? There was a one trans, or, or this one in the like OnlyFans cat uh, forums. There was a girl that was basically saying she was trans, but she just puts like a dildo in her in her <laughs> underwear, <laughs> and she was like crushing it in the like because she's actually like pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. And all the other trans people were like, she's invading like the trans spaces <laughs> or whatever. And it was like people were like, how ironic, <laughs> stealing our market. Dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was like why? Are <laughs> she's the fucking Elvis Presley of trans porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fucking. Don't thing like a little the taste day. of your own medicine, do ya? <laughs> That's kind of what people were saying. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ironic. Oh my god. And they're they, they're probably dying to see the dick too. Show dick. Show dick. Show dick. <laughs> they said yeah. that uh -uh. that was the biggest power play when we we're stripping. Uh, when I was in D.C. is like the ones who made. Oh, yeah, the JJ was a stripper. Yeah, I was a stripper. Or the ones who Ugh. made the most money. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I had hair and abs 20 years ago. The ones who would make the most money were the ones who kept their underwear on. Yeah, because there are people like, it's that little bit of my mystique. They're mystique. like, oh. They and that's those. guys, though. I don't think the girls were going to make more money if they oh, keep all their Oh, if a on. chick's a teaser, though, instead of, like, there is something about a chick who has a bra. You'll make more money to get the, to pay to get the bra off. I think if, if you're, you're to get it in the dance, be like, you only get the titties behind closed doors, that yes. might sell it. Oh, that, that would make huge money. And they have to be Well, good. JJ's obviously <laughs> making more money if he keeps the clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> People paying him to get dressed. Oh, my God. Yeah. Gets on stage, starts naked. It slowly puts clothes yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, it's like one of, the, there you go. one of the older strippers is like, JJ, I got a little advice for you. Keep the clothes on. Hey, up. I did have That'll a guy. That'll make you more money in the long run if you just Dude, stay covered as much there, as possible. There was Please. this 38-year-old guy. He said to me, he's like, you got a great ass. This is when I was like 25. He's like, you got a great ass now, but wait till you get to my age. You can't even uh, flex it anymore. And he flexed it and it was all indented. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Burns. <laughs> Dude, that's a sad Bad truth, the old day male stripper. Oh, oh just, my uh, god, dude! And because they only see so in the strip club, uh, the place I worked at, Secrets in Zigfields, actually closed two years ago. Rest in peace. That <laughs> rest it, in peace. it was all red lights, right? It was all red light. It was pitch black with red lights, and then we would go in the back in a room like this, and because it was twenty minutes on, twenty minutes Chest off, bump yeah. with the boys, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, some of these guys were brutal. Like they were beat red from the tanning beds, yeah. and they were just rock looking in the Jesus face. They Christ. were wearing makeup and stuff. Uh, oh, it was brutal. Try and keep it together. That's okay. like an old Vegas... Yeah, well, this act. was in D.C. Yes, yes, a lounge act, a lounge yeah. hack trying to compete with... Smoking cigarettes on the <laughs> stage in a firefighter outfit. <laughs> <laughs> we had this, uh, oh, I won't say the club, the server, It was a, the club was 40 years old and the server had been there since day one. Yeah. And she would light up these fucking darts right after the <laughs> show, counting her money. Just, oh, yeah. she was great. Loved yeah. it. That's the vibe you want in a comedy club. Like, there's some comedy clubs that are trying to be 
be classier now and you want like a tinge of class I agree. but like you want yeah. your comedy club like staff to be like wearing sweaters and people who like love comedy and there's this griminess to it if it's really classy you have this like place where people are it's classy you come down you sit you have an expensive dinner and then i'm talking about come like it's yeah. a two yeah. oh, yeah. it's the same as jazz too like if you go to watch jazz you want it to feel a tiny bit old fashioned yeah, yeah. Like yes. you don't want it to feel like all modern Brick, yeah no Brick. no cause then it starts oh, to feel right. like Nashville or something you know yeah like a it modern just feels, jazz it, to feel cor- it feels corporate yeah. yeah the best part though was uh, I'm watching in the back and, and Che looks over he's on stage <laughs> and he goes Who's that having a full? The, she's having a full conversation about life with these like customers Nothing, during the show. During the show, the server. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> oh, she comes over. She's like, hey, how you guys been? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I let it, after I let. I was like, oh, it's just the server. It's just the server. Just let it go. But it was kind of like, yo, what the fuck is going on back there? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the dinginess of it that makes uh, it awesome. And it was a great club too. Yeah. It was super fun time. Know, yeah. 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 One last thing that's hilarious is you know the politician Nikki Haley. No. Yes, the war pig. War pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. J J J follows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loves calling yeah. a chick a pig, uh, I lo- especially uh, when it's the proper. Pi- yes. So basically, uh, she's like she's one of the. They're saying she's one of the top people in the Republican Party, but uh, the debate that we don't think that people like she's, her as much as now, they say that she. Now, is. They say totally. she's the fucking front runner yeah, right people now. People say that we don't really believe it, but Lies. the funny part is her husband. She uh, changed his name. She's like a like a boss, like sort of like top woman. Yeah, the guy's name's first Ma- name. Yeah. yeah, his first name. She goes. You may be wondering how Bill became Michael. And she wrote in her book after we started dating. I looked at him one day and I said, "What's your name?" And he goes, "You know, it's Bill." She said, "Puzzle." He goes, "You don't look like a Bill. What's your whole name?" William Michael. And I just started calling him Bill, or I just started calling him uh, Michael. And then everyone started calling him Michael, and now he's just Michael. Yo, that's <laughs> wild. It's the most cock shit I've ever heard about. Nice, what? For what it's worth, I've actually changed my opinion on her after hearing that. That <laughs> yeah, yeah. is someone who could be a good president. Yeah, no, yeah. that is some boss <laughs> shit for sure. You beat a man out of his own name. And he's going to be the first lady if she yeah. wins. Yeah. Yes. The he's... first gentleman. Um, <laughs> that's, isn't that crazy, though? Imagine you start dating a girl. She goes, nah, you're this. And then you go, okay, I guess I'm this. Oh, dude, I'd be out in a second. If a girl goes, I don't want to call you that name. I'd be like, that's like like a 10 right. levels above of, you should wear this shirt or cut your hair. Yeah. Like, it's like, isn't that wild? Change your name, bro. I'm like, dude, you have to first name. How yeah. much are you sweating if your wife is actually the leader in the polls as for president? Like, you don't want that to happen, yeah. The, you like are the, the meme, the first lady. I think yeah. he is sweating a little. You're right. Oh, I would be like, oh my God, please someone assassinate her. You're going to be leaking yeah. your own dirt, yeah. yeah He's yeah. probably God. leaking this. Yeah. This guy's been going along with this shit for a while. He's probably like... You don't want to be the first or lady. Or he, want, he knows how busy she is going to be out of his hair. Yeah, yeah. And, he's like, oh, now. and he gets to go, go do cool stuff, cut That's ribbons. That's probably cool to be a first lady. Cut then. ribbons at orphanages, <laughs> yeah. and he probably gets to throw out pitches at games. Cool. He'll get like a boost on the Epstein Island shit. Like whoever the new guy is, yeah. he'll be flying cheap, dude. Yeah, he's gonna be like, man, I'm eating good, touching these kids. My wife's killing it. Yeah. Coming home and fucking him with a strap on. Yeah. Yeah. Like small price to pay, small price to pay. Uh, yeah. Unlimited adrenochrome. Yeah, dude. we did this before last week or a couple episodes ago. We were saying that like every politician is like a different type of used car salesman. Yeah. But on this topic, maybe we'll close with this. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like the old comedy thing and be like. Uh, Joe, Joe Biden having sex with his wife. What would that look like? <laughs> oh, wow. We're saying which ones lay it down the most. Gavin Newsom probably lays it down the most out of any politician. You'd I bet Trump it. does. Trump and Gavin Newsom probably actually lay pipe. Yeah. I think Trump. I think Trump's. The I think he's a Desantis little... shirt on for sure. No question. Oh no, yeah, no, no. Desantis isn't fucking laying. Desantis, I would uh-huh. think, gets piped for sure. His little like with his like things in his shoes <laughs> and everything. Yeah. His little robot. Desantis. He just has the lips on. Yeah. He fucks with the lips on. Yeah, he like, doesn't take the lips yeah. on. Like women who fuck with high heels on yeah. Yeah. that's how he's getting fucking mowed down Jesus I bet I bet, I bet uh, um, Trump's incredible like he's a sex <laughs> incredible I bet he's a fucking warrior <laughs> he's six oh, foot he's four he's incredible yeah. not my type but I'm at <laughs> put, put or, in the performances or, orange yeah. man not bad you heard it here first <laughs> apparently has a weird penis they, that uh, Stormy Daniels uh, Taylor Lorenz tell you that yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> she can't a- trust <laughs> Stormy Daniels. No, yeah. She he- said his dick looks like uh, Toad from Mario. That's what she said. The fucking big, little oh, mushroom. big head? Yeah, the little mushroom guy. Big oh. head, little thin body. I yeah, can yeah. see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can yeah. see that. I'm I can drunk. see that. Yeah. I mean, he's a big guy, though. Yeah. Also, too, she's fucking male porn star. So anyone oh, compared, good point. Yeah. compared okay. to is going to have a Toad dick. Yeah, That's why exactly. you, you're right. A guy yeah. in the public shouldn't be on record against being measured against porn no, stars. No, you have yeah. the bit about that. Yeah, exactly. Your yeah. dick's going up against this, like, Johnny Sins and all that kind of stuff. You can't measure up. Yeah. Though. Yeah, not so. a chance. It's not a good move. Okay, JJ, this one's for you. How does Joe Biden have sex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't think he has sex. He's got to be over it by now, no, right? He's for sure over it. Dude, did you see that video of he him? He goes to the like, island just to watch. Yeah, yeah he's just like, I, I like the sun, you know? I got to get outside. <laughs> they make a mean style. pina colada. <laughs> That video of him where they're like, how's your holidays going? He's like, I'm eating lots of pasta, lots of good food, ice cream. Someone wrote, they're like, this sounds like a testimonial from like a retirement home. That's yeah. what he's like. Oh, the food That's where you so should be. Good. I mean, that is yeah. where you should be. Oh, it's brutal, dude. There's been some okay ones that lay it down. Clinton probably lays it oh, down. Clinton's probably great. Bro. Obama's Clinton. probably pretty boring. I mean, missionary. Clinton will leave you with a fucking bloody lip. You know who's probably... <laughs> <laughs> You know who's probably incredible? <laughs> <laughs> incredible. He's trying to throw incredible out there. It wasn't just Trump that's incredible. No. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy Carter. He had legendary dick? No, but, he, you know, he's like, he looks good now. No, he doesn't. Oh. He's 99. <laughs> okay, so he's he clinging to life. Have you seen him? He's like at that age where you have like 10 open hey, sores on hey, your body all hey, the time. I can your body change opinions. Uh, <laughs> I can <laughs> change on the fly. <laughs> One line. No, he doesn't. All right. Okay. <laughs> You're, you beat me on this. Vivek, I would say Vivek has sex. He's, he has one of the like watches on that checks his heart rate. Yeah. He's constantly like monitoring his heart rate. He goes, okay. we, we got to stay in zone two. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, can't go too hard. I got to stay in zone two. Gotta go in zone two man. Oh, dude. <laughs> no, Vivek is annoying as fuck, man. He's too he's, much He's of a Bill dick. Lumberg. He's fucking like Bill He's too yeah. much of a character. He's, yeah. he the mug. He's just like Gotta dick riding too two. hard, man. It's like, okay, we get it. You love Trump. He's like, I won't run. I mean, he's like, he's dick the ride best Trump candidate. A little hard. Yeah, dude, he dick I, rides. He's so crazy. He is the best candidate. He is. Yeah. I, I like him a lot. Yeah, but like, but, you get no love from the media. He is no. all right, though. He, is, he does yeah. dick ride Trump a well, little hard. Well, because I think he, he's smart enough to know that he's not going to win and he's going to try and get a position in that case. Uh, no, he's good. He's, sure, but it is like yeah. it does seem like you could probably tone it down a little. He with probably. The dick I bet you Vivek could name all forty-eight laws of power in order. <laughs> He knows them all. He yeah. goes like, yeah, yeah, he's never outshined the master. But yeah. he knows every it's, single one. You're right. He's doing 48 laws of power. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Are you kidding? He's also, he's also doing Good point. Obama. Well, he's I also, guess I don't know. He does Obama. Like, if you ever watch him, if you were to watch him to watch Obama, he's doing, like, Obama. He's doing the way he, he talks. He speaks way, better. He's way fucking... Uh, has been. No, because Obama was more natural. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, Obama was, like, funnier and more, na- and more like... Vivek, but, like is, Vivek is, like, in terms of, like, kind of gift of gab. You're like, that guy... Yeah, he has a good... Oh, no, no, but... Talk, but yeah. Vivek, Vivek will. He, Vivek's doing now for four years from now. It's yeah, not for yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be the pres- yeah. he'll be the president unless something happens in four He'll years. He'll be a vice president. I mean, Trump hasn't announced. Oh, that would be amazing, dude. Person. The Tucker combo. I was like, please, please, for the love of oh, God, make this be true. That'd be That's hilarious. Just, it'd be so funny, dude. It would, That's be like great it would spruce it up a little bit because it is. I've said this that it's starting to feel like a little bit of a repeat. Yeah, it's like you know. I mean, I don't like to watch movies again, even right. Yeah. Where you're yeah. right, get Tucker Carlson, and that would spruce up the whole deal. Oh, the memes would be fire. <laughs> it would be great. Dude, would, <laughs> internet content unreal, bro. Trump Trump versus Newsom? Ooh, it would be fun. Yeah, there. That would be fun. I think that's all the candidates and how they fuck. <laughs> 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 oh shit Okay this was The boys panel was cooking uh, So Jay you're on the road And you have your Wilbur show This Friday right? Yeah 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 This Friday uh, it's, it's a coming. big one yeah, Is this gonna be out in time? This is gonna be out Friday morning Okay yeah yeah So yeah if you guys are in Boston Come grab tickets to that I also got another theater show In Vancouver We got Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg Also on the docket And then Tacoma And I think that might Oh no uh, uh, Also got Cleveland So if you guys wanna come get tickets Go to Chaterena.com It's Chaterena on all platforms That's C-H-E-D-U R E N A. And JJ is going to have his special coming out soon. Fuck yeah. Uh, end of January, February. I also sell yes. candles on the road. So if I'm. Uh, You're selling I'm, candles now? Dude. Uh, fuck off. Yeah, candles that smell like. Uh, you bring a big bag of candles when fuck you Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, let, let him go. So candles. Let's hear about the candles. Candles that smell like uh, fruity pebbles and whiskey. 
Did you Man did you get shit. these in like a grab bag and you're Would just you like, buy them on fucking like Alibaba, AliExpress or something? You something just, like that. Like, <laughs> is there, did when you did you get this idea? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's lying. That's the problem. I don't know. If, does he sell candles? <laughs> he hasn't yet, but we'll see at the Wilbur. Maybe you, we'll you have, have a, a you have an invoice paid invoice for candles from China. Do you want to see it? Before? What's yeah, the no, company? What the are candles. you selling? Yankee candles? Uh, hold on. So if you go to Chinese show, you can buy candles. Uh, yeah, you want to get a sweet <laughs> candle, dude? And, but they're not like smell like jizz or like a used jizz sock or something. I have, I have a lot of uh, Thursday, January 11th. They're on the way. There's a, and how long do they last? The for? candles are on the way. How many candles do you buy? I bought sixty. Sixty. How candles. big are the candles? You're really thinking they're gonna move, eh? Four ounces. <laughs> I would have started. Four ounce with, candles. I think I would have started. Where'd you get 20? this idea? <laughs> What's that? Where'd you get the idea to sell candles? Buddy, I was I was fucking sitting down thinking, what could I sell? <laughs> Some merch. <laughs> and you go, what's the thing that no comedian has ever sold as merch? <laughs> candles. We'll see. Maybe they move. Maybe I don't even think hot. chicks sell candles, dude. No. But no. these are. I actually, do. How did you come up with the idea to sell candles? Honestly, it just one day. Yeah, I, your I light was, bulb went off. I was thinking between <laughs> custom made splooge. <laughs> Rags, and I was thought that's a pretty good idea, splooge rag, because you can use it in the kitchen or you can use it for fucking splooge. And then I thought, oh, you know what? These candles are fucking unique. Who wouldn't want a candle? This is like one of your craziest <laughs> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth, we're only going to bring good mark good markup on the candles. Uh, three X, okay. not that good actually. You don't they cost seventy five bucks a candle. For how many candles you're going to be fucking saddled with for a while? You don't. Yeah, I actually, not that good of a I actually thought about this last night. I'm like. There's a good chance I could have 60 candles in 2025. <laughs> 20 a times. really good chance. <laughs> I thought really after you I autograph them or something, What's you that? put like you kiss them maybe, uh, like know. lipstick on and kiss the side of the candle. So there's, I like, just a thought it's a great way to make money. <laughs> Selling <laughs> candles? What are you a fucking chick? I don't That's know. what chicks do. I, I, I didn't. Think I'm interested. I to. This is the first time hearing about it. So I'll give you guys. <laughs> I'll give you guys the full report back on the this candle is, results. I, I, Are you gonna? Okay, so how many different scents? So I have uh, a coffee one, yeah. a fruity pebbles, like so I'll call it cereal. Smell of cereal. Oh, you're rebranding them. <laughs> these are white. You're white labeling. I've these. white labeled this. <laughs> Uh, whiskey. <laughs> What's on them? Are they just white? It's just a picture of my face. Oh, oh your, your face, face is, is on, on the candles. JJ Lieberman comedy. That's pretty good. I like that aspect. But that's it's, a good aspect. And then, and then, I, uh, yeah. Are they like those, um, like those saints? Four candles? ounces. No, four but ounce. do they look like those saints? No, four ounce. Like a small, like what you, the Myers But not, because you know the saint candles, and then they're like, people put like Obama that's on them. too expensive. I don't have But budget. that, like, I'm like working with a hundred bucks right here. This is a uh. sticker. You got sixty candles for a hundred bucks? A little more, but a little less than sticker's gonna light on fire. For <laughs> it's not a bad a deal. No, the yeah, guy hooked me up. He's definitely he, like asbestos. He almost. thought if I could do this, he's like, This is the proof of concept. I love how you yeah. found some desperate guy who has like just a warehouse full of he candles. Has a warehouse. And no he has way a warehouse. Get, no way warehouse. to get rid of them, and he's just like really just scraping the bottle being like JJ. I got a great idea. Like you, how he you said message to other me people? on the phone. He cold messaged you, being like, "He candles, said, question he mark? said to me, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He said to me, I need a guy like you to see if this can sell. <laughs> if you can't sell them, no one can. Nobody this can. is like how the Wolf of Wall Street two starts. Yeah. <laughs> JJ just fucking going cross country selling candles. Holy. And if you want to hear me and Danny are doing an episode in Amsterdam at patreoncom slash cast and there's gonna be some other stuff from our tour on there. Yeah. Um, that right now i believe we were are in Am one of us is gonna put a I full in banana Stockholm in our right ass in amsterdam <laughs> no. but we're not telling you which one tune in to, to find out patreon.com slash the boys cast peace